Hello, ladies and gentlemen. How are we doing, man? Is the new hot stop hot swap stuff allowed? We'll go over the rules right when we start, but I believe so, yeah. German boar. <coughs> also, chat, you'll have to bear with me because I am still sick, so I will be wearing a mask today uh, while CB and I stream this, so I am I'm still sick. Have you seen a cold comfort with envious and bipod? A cold comfort. Which one is that? If you need to, man, you can always check on light GG for god rolls. But, ladies and gentlemen, we're two minutes away. Today should be a lot of fun. Today should be a lot of fun. Perfect. Hello! Hello, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another... Low Man Tournament. Hosted by... Mr. Evan F. 1997. And the devilishly handsome Mr. C.B. Gray. Oh, you flatter me. <laughs> 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 you guys are in for what I would call... A really, really, really good show today. So, CB, without further ado, let's get it started. Lights, please. Camera. Action. And we are here. Welcome back, you guys. How is everybody doing today on Evan's side and on my side as well? How are we feeling? Are we feeling nice and good, ladies and gentlemen? Are we feeling well-rested? Today's Sunday. It's a day, some would say, it's a day built for low mans. It is, and it's a very fantastic day to see some speeds. People are going to be moving. We're going to be smoothing, so we're excited. 
chat, today is a day for anybody that has never seen Lomans before. You guys are in for some of the most creative way to knock out some raids. So you have things from different ways to tackle encounters to ways to speed up the progression of those encounters to skips that you have never seen before to some new things that we haven't even seen. And that's going to be the coolest part, because if you remember when we did this roughly, I believe, four months ago, there wasn't a raid that is now back in the game from Destiny 1, and that's going to be one of the newest ones that we're going to get to see done three-man Destiny 2 style. So we're used to seeing it soloed in D1, but this is going to be fantastic to see in D2. Yes, 100%. One of the things that Crota's End has brought to the table is actually a lot of really fun... Yeah. And, and frustrating low mans, which uh, you want to tell chat some more about that? Well, there's a lot of cool different things that I'm sure you guys have seen, at least on the solo side of things. But there's going to be a lot of fun things you're going to see on the three man side of things. That's going to be a combination of moving really fast, really cool strats that you might not have seen in certain places, such as the, um, the bridge encounter and just flat out high skilled gameplay. So it's going to be very, very exciting to see. Yes, 100 percent. And right now we're just seeing some of the competitors warm up we have about you know barring that anybody may drop out last second we have about 15 teams that are going to be competing even some names that you guys might recognize from some other things like you know solo crota yes we do we do have mr snazzy rock that we're going to get to see a very very notable names making a lot of notable noise in the community with some of the amazing solo challenges he's been able to do yes yeah, snazzy is this guy that will never not let you know that he has beat a challenge and honestly i, I think it. it's the coolest part about it. it i i, I really it. look forward to each and every i would say scream that we get to hear every single time that he accomplishes something and i think it's honestly now a staple that i look forward to each time a new raid comes out so it's oh, one of my favorite parts about it 100%. I think Snazzy is the energy that Destiny 2 needs, man. I feel like a lot of the time, people beat someone and they're like, oh, that was, you know, oh, it's done. I'm finally done. Snazzy will hit it with another level of excitement right after. It's great. And with that being said, do, uh, too, for those that were familiar maybe with the last tournament that we did, you might recognize one of the winners is returning here as well. So if you want to bring up who that is as well. Yes, Mr. Splits is returning today. He's not live quite yet, but Mr. Splits should be here today. If he's not, it'll be unfortunate. But there's also been a lot of people that have had to drop out due to school restrictions, work restrictions. You know, it's getting three people together. It is a little bit tougher, especially in this time of the year when people are like really grinding for different stuff. Yeah, but with that being said, we do have a lot of notable runners here. Another one that you might recognize if you were watching Raid Zone is Reminisce, too, who yes. made a lot of noise during the Crota race. So we're going to be looking out for him. We're going to be looking out for a lot of people. There, I think there's going to be a lot of names that we recognize, and I think there's going to be a lot of names that are going to really make some noise today, too. So this is always a really cool time to just see how many talented people there really are in this community. Yes, I think one of the big things that a lot that happen, that that happens through these types of events is finding new people. And at the end of the day, people are competing right now for $1,500. Now, Chet, you guys have the opportunity to actually expand the prize pool today. If you do exclamation point fund in either CB's chat or my chat, you can actually expand on the GoFundMe. So, uh, so right now it is at $1,500, but we're going to try to see if we can get that as high as possible. Yes, 100%. And I'll just say right now, guys, I got the ball rolling today. We dropped the $500 donation. Ooh. So make sure that if you guys want to help out and support events like this in the future, go donate to the GoFundMe, help out the low man community. And I mean, just donate to the cause, man. This is, this is fun stuff that they want to bring us. They invited us to cast again. Thank you. Thank you. And let's just show them some love, man. Yeah, so, and that brings us into a good point, too. We want to make a big, big, big shout out to the Low Man community for allowing us to once again be a part of this. Evan and I love doing this, so thank you guys for letting us be a part of it. 100%. 100%. Well, with that being said, Evan, what raids are we going to be seeing today? Well, I know I brought up Crota, but what else are we going to see? So we are going to see a raid that kind of, I, I don't really think a lot of people are expecting to see in a Low Man scenario because... The entrance is very long, 
but the rest of the raid, you're going to see them breeze, hopefully breeze through. And that... I mean, there's, there's a... I mean, in terms of the raids that we're going to see, I mean, the, the entrances that I think are going to be interesting that either you might be bringing up would either be Deepstone or Val. We're actually seeing both. And yes, we are. So we let's are talk about both. those. And what's going to be the fourth one that we're going to see? So we're going to have Crota, we're going to have Val, we're going to have Deepstone. And what are we going to have as the fourth? Right on the screen right now. Last good, Wish. Good old Last Wish. The one that everybody really likes to finish these day ones, or not these day ones, but these low mans on. Because Last Wish offers the most encounters of any raid. It also has the most, I would say, the most satisfying conclusion of any raid. It has an epilogue. Right? You don't see that very often. Yeah, so it really is just fitting with this being... I mean, there's not even an, a doubt. I mean, the craziest raid race of all time with Last Wish. It's very fitting that after the first three raids that we're going to see, everything is going to culminate and finish off with Last Wish. Yes. And with one final Queen's Walk. Yes. And you guys might be wondering, hey, Evan, where's the... Hey, Evan, hey, CB, where's, where's the King's Fall? Where's the Garden? <laughs> where's all this? Garden was in the last one. King's Fall, it... It just depends on what is in the rotation right now. What is the most satisfying for runners to be doing right now? What is actually being run? What's being played? What's being constantly tackled? In King's Fall right now, a lot of people aren't doing it. So these are the raids that people are doing. Crota, of course, we want to see the new raid get involved. We want to see how people are low manning it. If you guys watched me play it yesterday on stream, you know that Crota low man... I mean, it can be pretty annoying, especially at Uryut. It can be pretty difficult, especially with, I mean, just dealing with the wizards in Uryut, and especially the uh, the bridge encounter can be very long. So seeing these guys speed it up is going to be really cool. It is going to be cool. And one of the things that you're even seeing here, too, that's going to be another really cool thing, speaking of us getting to go in and low man, because Evan got to yesterday and I did the day before, but it's going to be very interesting seeing Queen's Walk and how precise this line is going to be that they're going to be running to make sure that they don't fail this. There's not a lot of room for error when it comes to Queen's Walk. So you're going to be seeing a lot of really cool tech, some really cool skips, and just a lot of high-level gameplay. Yes, I, I think at the end of the day, when there's this big of a prize pool on the line, you have a lot of teams that, man, like they want to be here. They really want to cook. And you're going to see a lot of optimizations because, guys, this isn't just beat the low mans and then everybody gets a little share of the prize pool no this is beat the low mans as fast as possible and the sums of the best times will then add up all those times together and the best time overall will be rewarded with first place and that's a great way to segue to how these rules are going to work anyway so evan explained that very very well but to even go one step further Basically, each time that all of the racers start their engine and get into the, the initial low man. So let's talk about the first raid. So with Crota's end, once the first team completes it, there'll be 15 minutes for each of the other teams to complete the raid within that time to basically essentially um, post a time. And then those times are going to continually be added to the next raid that they do to overall have a sum of best of the um, all four of the raids. And then the top teams team, ask me the top teams um time is gonna win good lord yes <laughs> basically guys it's a sum of the best i mean it's, it's kind of like it's kind of like that that meter that you always see or the the time measurement that you always see on a speed run it's your sum of the best and that's what they're going to be taking to determine first second and third those prize pools will be split up accordingly and at the end of the day man we're about to see some teams crack out for some big wins Yes, they are. And I'm also hoping for maybe a couple like come from behind victories too. It's the cool thing is, is even if you get down in the first raid, that 100% does not determine who the winner is going to be. So I'm hoping that we see a lot of back and forth. Yes. I mean, on the last one, guys, full disclosure, it was a, it was a, it was a new O knocker and splits walk off. It was a dominating it effort. Was, <laughs> it was, it was really impressive though, because there was even more teams in the last tournament, which at the end of the day, if you're competing with even more and more and more, those guys were going in, man. They did not lose a single raid. Not one. And so that's why we're definitely going to have our eyes on splits on this one to see if he's going to be able to kind of continue 
that momentum from the last tournament and we'll have to just wait and see if you know he's gonna once again you push himself out in the head and not even be able to be touched the whole tournament yes and guys right now what you're seeing on the screen is them practicing some crota skips i got the chance to do this yesterday uh and it was really really cool you can actually get out of the map and into the crota first encounter without the chalice now you can't really go much further without your teammate but because they still need to fill to fill out the bridge but what's happening is the bridge is being formed they're already down here while the teammate falls down then they can get the encounter started thus speeding it up and saving a solid what 20 30 seconds yeah there's gonna be a lot of time to say and that's gonna be save and that's gonna be a similar trend that we're gonna see in things like deep stone as well you're gonna be seeing a lot of skips that if you normally just do these raids the traditional way, you're not going to know that any of these exist. And there's going to be a lot of surprises that you guys are going to see today. So you're in for a treat. Yes, I, I think, guys, at the end of the day, like, let me let me see if there's any audio here. We can probably listen into some of the teams. The problem is if you're not comfortable hitting it. Right. And they're talking about some of their practice stuff and they're talking about comfortability and how how adaptable they're going to have to be. And by the way, guys, we are going to be joined by Mr. MJ and mr chronos experts from the low man community who are going to be kind of giving us some insight on some of the strats answering questions and going over what we're about to see so guys what's up what is hello. up hello hello guys how are you doing good, good. good ready for this ready for this tournament yeah t minus five minutes once again thanks guys for letting us be a part of it too of course thanks yeah. for being a part of it Yes, is a first. I mean, for sure, guys. It's always an order. Like, they're always an order. Always an honor, man. Jesus. <laughs> and speaking of that, one more time, since Evan did bring up the order, why don't we go over the order of the raids one more time, Mr. Evan? Yes. So the order, if I'm not mistaken, is Crota, Bow of the Disciple, Deepstone Crypt, and then Last Wish. Yep. And so, what are you looking forward to in terms of the? Four raids the most of them out of the four raids what i think i'm looking forward to the most man it's really hard to say because they're all like really cool in their own way yeah i feel like i should probably ask this question to chronos and mj what is the raid with the most cool new stuff that you know has a lot of optimizations from runners wish or dsc probably yeah, and for wish especially and for wish the viewers especially. that don't know why why would that be your answer Explain why it would be a, wish. Yeah. For wish, at least, I mean, it's a five year old raid. You're going to get as much optimization as possible. Multiple skips from runners and just really quick boss melts. So I think they're just going to crush it. And on top of that, wish um, has changed. At least, yeah, true wish has changed a lot uh, recently, like the past couple months, with uh, like skips being implemented into trio and damage strats for ribbon changing like you know last time we saw people using that wave frame gl bouncing like in it and gribbon's hitbox and sun bracers yeah but that no longer works so there was like this huge thing like i remember like, like a month and a half ago or something i remember chronos freaking out about it trying to find a way to uh, actually be able to one phase ribbon and still keep the optimization of the run Right, so, so well, I, I know you guys, you guys very recently, and it was even used in the last low man tournament. Unfortunately, at that point, it was all a Nuo uh, splits and knockers win. But in Shirochi, that plate trick that you just kind of discussed briefly, do you have a clip that we can, that we can show uh, to the, to the chat? Because this is like it is spicy it is spicy guys like this is like you know you ever have that one teammate in lfg that like doesn't know how to read the walls the symbols well with this strat you can just jump on the plates and they all just clear instantly and then the floor is done like that so i'll pull up a clip right now yeah no i'm trying to, i'm going through my server right now see if i see if i have one like yeah and why you guys do so this is really exciting so for the viewers that might have even just seen the last tournament and might be expecting a lot of similar strats and similar weapons to be used and just a similar i guess a similar overall experience it sounds like you guys are going to be in for a completely different experience from the four months ago so that's really exciting yeah i think yeah, I, yeah go, go ahead mj i'm sorry i was gonna say especially seeing how we only have two returning raids. DOC will probably be pretty similar to what it was last time. 
Uh, we might see, now that quick swapping is back, we might see that on, um, on Tanix, but that'll probably be the only new thing that we see. How happy but, were you to see that come back, by the way? Yeah, me too. I, <laughs> yeah, I, I was, it, I, I was pretty excited. I was pretty excited to see it come back. Sadly, with, with how, like, the damage meta is right now, it's not as going to be, it's not going to be as, like, oppressive as it, it was. And isn't that crazy that we've kind of power crept past hot swapping? <laughs> like, we really yeah. have. Like, that's really the yeah, only way to yes. put it. <laughs> yeah, you, you can just put 19 shots in a grenade launcher and pull more damage than you ever could two years ago when quick swapping was a thing. So, it's it's kind of ridiculous. We've, we've gotten kind of strong over the years. Well, guys, um, we are one minute away. So, here, you want to pause the music on Spotify real quick? And then, up there. Oh, underneath you. All right, there. All right, perfect. Well, I think we're all set and ready to go. Let's. Uh, I guess it splits. Uh, do I have the wrong stream link for splits, or is he not playing? He's not. He's not going to be here this time. Oh, yeah, okay. Splits is not here. You can just yeah. take that Dang. out. Of okay. Well, we, we will definitely be having a new winner. Okay. Then. So officially, there will not be a returning winner as Splits is not um, doing yeah. this raid. No, yeah. yeah. That team is not participating this time. Gotcha. Okay. Um. Well, we got everybody pulled up. I believe that is participating. We got one. We got two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven teams officially here, and then I also have. A YouTube streamer, Mr. CB. Oh, I have. Yes. Who's holding it down? I have. Uh, it should be Ehan Seven if he was live. I'm not sure if he's live. I got. Uh, maybe he's not live. Dang. Okay, well, we'll be looking out. Interesting. Mm -hmm. We will be looking out indeed. Um, that would be the first. That would be the I, first I don't think, YouTube I mean, stream. Obviously, I am live over there right now, but in terms of runners, I don't think we've ever had on any of our casts no. a YouTube stream runner. No, yet. no, we have not. We have had, I think it was only Scarrow that we've ever had for a YouTube streamer. Oh, yeah, true, 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 true. Scarrow and Big Shot to Scarrow, too. We love Scarrow. Okay. Um, Take yes. Yeah. Taking out anybody that is currently offline. All right. So every stream is unmuted. Oh my god. <laughs> and while Evan is muting these guys, another big reminder that right now the prize pool, as you guys see, is fifteen hundred dollars. But if you type exclamation point fund on either side, we are going to be trying to raise that number up as high as we can, so that we really, you know, knock this out of the park this year. All right, well, let me go straight to the snazzy POV to start. Guys, I think we're good. If you guys are ready, MJ, if you want to do the countdown, I believe in you this time. Oh, my God. Yeah, we definitely. <laughs> uh, I'm going to delegate the task to Kronos. All right, Kronos, all right. it's all you all right, on the Kronos. countdown in the channel. All right, we're getting the 10-second countdown. The 10-second countdown. Here we go. Eight. Seven. Six, five, four, three, two, one, go! go! Right. Stream delay! <laughs> <laughs> we love That's delay. Fun. And we are officially off. Welcome back to the newest three-man, low-man tournament. We're excited. Yes, sir. All righty, dude. What so first of all, tell me, tell me what they're about to do here, guys. Why, why they're doing the strat that they could be doing here for skipping underground, sorry. It just allows for an instant start of Abyss because, uh, as you know, doing the raid, as soon as you finish and you have to wait for the bridge and then you have to fall for like forever, 30 basically. seconds, forever. like yes. you're just losing so much time. Mm -hmm. And so right there, I remember from yesterday doing this myself, that there's actually a little spot that you can stand past where he sword swipes to stop the turn back zone. If you don't hit that on time, you will, you, I mean, you'll die and you'll have to restart that whole entire trick. Um, but yes, Thanks. it looks like he got it first try, no problem. And so this is going to be really exciting for the viewers that have never seen a low man crowed up to this point because there's going to be a lot of things you guys are going to see that is not going to be the traditional crow to run that you're used to. No, it is not. And at all. I see a contacting oh, servers no. already. Lemon! Oh no, 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 no. This is uh 
My wait, brother, wait. dude. It's Evan F. Lemon F. No. Lemon F. One two one already. F. Dealing with some contacting Destiny servers and just like with the sporting events, how you have to deal with things like weather, us Destiny <laughs> players have to deal with things like servers. That's just part of the gig it's at this point in time. Yeah, that's that's true. Yeah, there's uh, it's just like it's just like a snowy day. Yeah, you, know, you just have to adjust. You got you got what? You got the rain outside. You got the rain on <laughs> on their Ethernet cord, dude. Lemon F is barely staying in it right now. The stream is going back and forth. The game is going back. Lemon! Oh, no. It seems like he is holding it down. I think that based on what I see, because <laughs> I, I was hoping it was just going to be on the stream side lagging, but we did see that contact in Destiny servers. We're not oh, seeing it now, so man. hopefully he's able to hold on. We'll no, keep I think the stream might have died, Mr. CB. <sighs> I think mean, you spoke too soon. Lemon <laughs> F goes down first, man. Oh, no. <laughs> Let's hope that this is not um, a foreshadow to what's to come in terms of on the server side i really hope it's not man that, that would really suck to see well yeah let's hope it's just an internet issue i'm gonna go ahead and just keep a bunch of teams up on the screen at the same time yeah, when do we expect really to be i'd say the first time where a team can really pull out ahead like if you had to predict um the raids where we'll probably see like uh, actual gaps being made or i guess I guess if we're talking about just this raid, we'll see it in oh, the boss oh. kills, um, because bridge and this are kind of like you can only really do it so fast just because of how much like you have to wait and stuff. Yeah. Um, but the bosses, because you can you can trade one face ear you you can one face ear you on master with three people. It's crazy. Um, and you can one face Kurta. The teams that will like pull ahead are going to be the teams I mean, that can yeah, pull I mean, those off uh, consistently. Yeah, well, we're excited to see it. So this first time we've already seen a death to the to the good old pendulums. We've all been there at least once. It's going to be interesting to see how teams balance moving fast and not getting their head whacked. Yes, and you'll notice right here, CB, that almost everybody is going to use Trinity Ghoul or Sunshot in some way just because... I mean, they're just the ultimate ad clear big bundle of enemies' weapons. Completely agree, and we're also seeing the green subclass too. We I mean, are. I mean, we know that things like Banner of War, we're going to be seeing a bunch of. It's going to be interesting because when we did Raid Zone for Crota, that wasn't a thing. No, Banner of War was banned from day one, and uh, there's probably a good reason why. And Evan, oh we did gosh. just see our first game. I'm mean, going to set game over, but our first uh, wipe, we unfortunately. Did. What just happened? So unfortunately there, I think it was just a, timer, a combination right? of timer and moving a little too fast and oh, it did end no. up getting them, yeah. That that can happen every once in a while, by the way, guys. Um, at the end of the day, there's a lot of nerves of trying to beat out everybody else. And, you know, slow and steady wins the race, but if you're going against the fastest people in the world, slow and steady, uh, it's it can be a really tough one to win. And, and that's why these are the most like interesting. Rem bridge. Oh. Yeah, they okay They're and, and as bridge. i had mentioned too reminis is going to be one to watch i mean he's one where they made really big splashes in the crota um raid race he did fantastic all right so rem sweep just all i'm saying we right. shall see so rem snazzy and uzi are the team in the lead right now so we're just going to stay here just for right now this encounter um i remember doing it yesterday and i wonder so basically, guys, as far as I understand, there's a slow way to do this, and there's a fast way to do this for the three-man. The fast way, I'm really hoping to see, because it involves a lot of moving back and forth between three plates with two people to keep a bridge alive without the totems dying and killing everybody else. Yeah, so we're actually going to see a, a, the first kind of cool part of bridge right here, so... Buckle your seatbelts because they're about to go for a ride. Here we go. Yes, they go. There they go, man. <laughs> and there they go. So this is an interesting piece of tech. So once again, just like in Destiny 1, we have proven that we don't need bridges. <laughs> yes. So this is due to the brand new Warlock Strand aspect that makes it so when you do grapple, you go much further than normal. Or else this would be a lot harder. Yeah. And so with that being said, I mean... 
this is going to be an interesting, I mean, not only raid race to see, but in general, I'm just really looking forward to just seeing how this team performs. I with Remis Reminis and Snazzy already, and then, like you said, adding that up to Uzi as well, like, this is going to be one of the teams to beat, no doubt. And so, guys, what you're seeing right now is that Snazzy stands on that middle plate right there to spawn in a sword bearer on the other side so that Rem and Uzi can work on that next sword bearer, get enlightenment back to the other side as the next goal, but... As long as somebody else is enlightened and you can keep two people enlightened, you can just keep flying back and forth on this. But yeah, there is a reason why Snazzy is running the plate, trying to spawn the sword bearer. But he can't be on there too long, or else those annihilator totems will kill you. They'll kill you. And with that being said, I mean, we're going to see those totems be red almost the whole encounter. Almost the whole encounter, especially because they're participating for speed. When I did this yesterday... We weren't really, we were going to, you know, we were playing the, the keep Evan alive because, uh, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> oh. oh, and once again, we might see our second bit of weather here, AKA and possibly another hiccup here. It looks uh, like they are okay. though. I think it fine. might've just been a hiccup. Yeah. Rem stream is good. Good, good, good. good. Yeah. Any, that, uh, oh. that plate strat is what you do for, uh, it's how you do the duo clear. Like, that's the duo strat, so it's kind of cool seeing that implemented so, in a So, yeah, so that was what, um, I was, I guess, curious on. So they have two people covering three plates, right? Or, like, mm -hmm. three, three different sides. And you just have to be really fast, you have to have your timing down. And here we go again. Once again, again making sure to look up, making sure not to get hit by the death barrier, and, and this is gonna be what we're gonna see the whole run we're going to see them going back and forth once again relying on the warlock um strand super that you are seeing here and this is going to really be the encounter yes. just until they get all of their swords over this process yes and this is would you guys chronos and mj would you guys say this is the longest encounter of this raid this is oh, yeah. the longest low man encounter in the game really Oh, it's oh, so we bad. just lost Snazzy. It, it, Hopefully, he's okay. It does seem like it's just on the stream side as he hasn't contacted servers once. Maybe let's go to Reminisce's side. Um, yeah, I can send you Rem's Twitch yeah, link. Yeah, send me. Put his up. Send me, send me Rem's Twitch link real quick. Yeah, I'll DM it to you. You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. But definitely, this is like going to be a long encounter. That's just all consistency. Can you Actually, Snazzy's Snazzy's is working now. Or avoid them. Yeah. Well, you've got Rem's as a backup. If it's true. 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 Continues to. Uh, no, we were fine. We were fine. All right, oh, cool. man. And you can hear them. I mean, they, they sound like, I mean, they're still very, very, like, comms are up, but they sound very collected. Yes. So it's going to be interesting to see, you know, the juggle between, you know, making sure, you know, they really are on top of it, but also not, like, panicking and rushing at the same time. Yes. A lot of what makes the best teams work so well isn't just pure mechanics. It's good communication and really, really good team morale. And that's what we've really seen and, and not only just seen, but even heard, you know, after hearing some of the, even like the world's first races that we've done. Like, I mean, a lot of times it's really just, you know, how are you going to battle adversity and making sure that you don't just implode? Yes. And I mean, at the end of the day, with every single world's first, with every single challenge, with anything in Destiny 2, we know that Destiny 2, it has its moments of being really difficult to have it. It has its moments of being whatever you want it to be. But at the end of the day, the best teams are usually the teams that are talking to each other and supporting each other through and through. Yep, I'd agree. And I think it's also the ones that have a short memory too, because I think it's just the nature of racing that there are going to be things that go bad. And it's just really just it ultimately instantly forgetting about it and just continuing to move forward. Because even in this, there's going to be teams that aren't going to do well on, on Crota here, but it's really going to be how they do on Deepstone. How do they do on Val? Are they able to kind of keep that morale? And roller coaster. It, so they should be wrapping this up. I believe this is. I have to see when they slam, but they should need too many more swords before. Hey, it already looks like. Uh, let me see. We'll see when they slam this one right here to see which one they're on. Playing safe there, smart. Waiting for the healing rift. He's got three swords. Like uh, two swords two left. left. It looks like two left. Oh. And, and let's see too. Do we have any other teams that are maybe making any headway here? Uh, okay. It looks like it looks like Aaron's team is the one that's uh, lined up with them right now. Okay, so Some let's take a look at Aaron. Some people are still on Abyss. Um, it looks like Aaron. Well, there's a couple teams here, but I'm pretty sure Aaron and Rem are the only team as far into Abyss or as far into Bridge as uh, 
left side they are. And so with this, as you mentioned, being the longest of all of the low man encounters, this also means this would be the most painful to wipe if you wiped late. Yeah. This yes. would be a very yes. painful wipe if they were to somehow fall apart here. Right, so those annihilator totems, like, those are the main things. If your timing is off, even by a little bit, they're not very forgiving at all. So if your timing's just, uh, just a little bit off, you do get screwed over pretty big, and it would be... I mean, it would be devastating to wipe on this encounter, to be honest. No other way to put it. Yeah. To put it in perspective, if you wipe in any of the other raids, you have a chance, like a fighting chance to still place high. You wipe here, it's it's going to be near it's impossible. Over. Almost, <laughs> Joe. It's just over. It's over. Well, wiping this raid, you're wiping in this, any any part after bridge, trying to do like dual flawless of this raid is actually the most painful thing ever. Like it, it, it really is. Like even even outside of a tournament setting, wiping this encounter just sucks so right. much. And we're actually about to see Aaron the clear first. It seems like let's let's line uh, it up with um with Snazzy here. It does look like they made up a good amount of time here. They did. It looks like Aaron is honestly. I think Aaron's actually I think in the they lead. They did They're take the lead. Yeah. Yes, they did. So I mean, this is just what you were talking about and being able to. Not only just complete this, but optimize it in a way where you can make up a lot of time. Yes, and right now, so can Kronos or MJ explain what is just happening right now? What did we just see right when Aaron started swapping characters? Because um, somebody, I believe, was not in the map. Somebody oh. was on the other side of that wall. So explain yes. to me what that oob is all about. So he went outside of the map, and he's going to grab the chalice from the hallway, and he's going to bring it out of the map to the final dunk spot so they can skip the entire hallway so you don't have to wait for the enlightened at all like you won't, don't even have to hit blinks you just grab it and it's an instant um start and i'm almost 100 percent sure the reason why uh they start the encounter at all with fed outside of the room is because if if all people are inside the room when you start the encounter not It'll set the join thing. spot to on the other side of the bridge instead of in the Shrieker hallway. Right. So you're able to actually right. so, so run into the encounter. So essentially, if you're here and you mess it up, somebody will spawn all the way at the beginning of the bridge to Crota and have no way to get to you without wiping. Yeah. Yes, exactly. And with that being said, guys, Crota did just come out still just last month, and we're just seeing already month. how optimized this is and the skips that are being implemented. So it is really, really cool to see, even just in a two-month period, where we are with Crota's end. Right. It, technically, in a month, we've already seen Crota get soloed in Destiny 2, which, like, you can't even do the mechanic without... Nope. <laughs> gold split shot. Which is so, zero. Yeah, word. All right, so right now we're just seeing very fast ad clear just to get into the rooms, grab the chalice. And this one, I do know a little bit more about. This one's actually really cool. Um, I, the, the strat that I was doing for the three-man yesterday seemed to not be the fastest strat because it involves a lot more waiting. But what you're going to see is a lot of baiting of wizards to a door. And when you bait wizards to a door... Uh, yeah, you can just blow them up from the other side and just finish them from the outside. Yep. Yeah, so that's definitely a spicy one that we're going to see. I was doing a little bit of Warlock blinking. And ours as well, you can also get through with Warlock blink as well. So, it's going to be interesting to see what they implement here. Yeah. No, 100%. Bottom right. Uh, grab. Find what I'm looking for one side. Love you. Anything else notable that we'll want to look out right. for here, MJ and Kronos, besides kind of what we've already mentioned? I need a brick still. Uh, no. Blinking and doing rockets is about the only way you can do this encounter. There, there's some ways you can do it without that in a trio, but it's slow and we're just not going to see it. Well, we what should... slow is the damage trap they're going to be using here in a minute. Yeah. <laughs> the, uh, the navigator grapple punches is just going to... It's busted. Your youth's about to just get obliterated. Right, so explain to people in chat that maybe don't understand the navigator grapple punches strat just a little bit before we actually see it ourselves uh so they're just going to use the gun that i still don't have me neither to make a grapple point. <laughs> yeah oh, so they're wow. gonna make a grapple point and they're just going to continue to grapple onto it and use the grapple punch with banner of war and um synthesis and each punch is go 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 i couldn't i couldn't say the exact number but it is a it's ridiculous a lot. amount 
It's a whole lot. I mean, it chunks not only your Ute, but it's it also chunks the Crow Demand as well. So I'm assuming we're going to be seeing it for both. And here we yeah. go. And here we go. Here we go. Watch that health bar go down with just three. And remember your LFGs, everybody in chat. Yes, it is. <laughs> remember, <laughs> remember this when you're doing a raid and you're like, oh, why can't we get a one phase? And you see three people just doing this, grabbing a ball in the sky and punching a wizard. One, two, punch, punch a wizard, grapple point, a recipe for total domination. Oh, 100% they get it. And there we go. So we are, I think, seeing our first oh. Crota boss here. So this is going to be interesting here. Let's see if any team has closed the gap at all. Oh, oh, did not so one phase. Yeah. <laughs> oh, they oh, oh, no. Yeah, they oh, shot. no. And <laughs> that is know, going to be <laughs> very, very hard to come back from Oh, here. my God. No. As long as we see a first try Crota here, it's going to be very, very hard to make up this time. Guys, the thing about having to do a second phase of Uriute is there's actually more wizards, so there's more obstacles in the way to actually get your clear. It takes longer. That's actually a huge this, this is huge 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 miss right there and crota i mean what can you guys tell us about the crota low man strat that they're going to be pulling off versus a normal crota that you would do it seems to be pretty much about the it's same pretty much the same yeah so crota is pretty much the same but a lot more navigator right a lot more of that yeah crispy the, the damage. One thing is just the like if this wasn't like a tourney setting where we can like say okay this is a kill Sometimes you'll kill Crota in a one phase and he just doesn't die um, and you'll, you'll get wiped and start over. But we, we've, really? we've made sure that people know that if uh, you kill Crota and then the Oversoul wipes you, that still counts as a kill. So, like, we're giving it that to people. Well, we're going to see this really soon at this point. This is now Aaron's to lose. This yes. is really now their, their fate's really in their own hands here. If they can, you know, just make sure clean swords... Make sure everything dies and they get to, a, a, you know, a nice DPS phase here. This should be a, a first victory here. Oh, easy. And it looks like another team just barely missed an Eerie one phase, oh, too. Oh, my. Do we know which, which, which POV that was? That was Veal's POV. We have that yeah. as well. Yes, and we would. No way. Uh, do I are they going to one sword here? No, no, no. We got Aaron Enlightened. Oh. I... Oh, okay, so we did see another, another we did. clear. Yeah, from Amnosy. Aaron, Aaron dropped. Yeah, there we go. Engelbert yeah, just killed right here. Man, that is so painful yes. there. Okay, what's your... yeah. It looks like Rem is just starting Crota now. Okay, Rem is so just starting Crota. Engelbert again. is just starting Crota. I don't have any special. A few on bridge, a couple still at the first encounter as well. But I think we're going to be seeing a DPS phase here okay. very soon from Aaron. So we, we might want to go full screen we're next full sword. Screen to Aaron right now. All right, and it looks like, um, uh, let's see. Yeah. Um, they show me, show me. Make sure that there's an oversight. Well, yes, I they do. Say, I guess they might not because they don't have to really worry about it. Honestly, at this point, though, if they know that they're ahead, it might not be a bad idea just to play it safe here. We'll see what they choose, though. I was told, by the way, guys, that the Low Man Fund is now up to $1,600, Ooh, guys. Let's go. Thank you. Yeah. For, thank you for donating towards... The next tournament and this tournament thank you for donating towards the prize pool guys because again the larger the prize pool here the more the the bigger we can go in the future yep so exclamation point fund on that on the twitch and on the youtube side and we'll keep raising this as high as we go and here we go we might be seeing the first finish let's go here we go they have 15 seconds cook, man banner oh, of war like honestly Chris. though this is looking like the two this is looking this like a is two looking to me. like a two yeah so Crota, Crota moved a lot here so the interesting thing now is going to be, can any other team one phase it and possibly snag this from them? That's going to be the interesting thing Let's now. Let's see who else is getting close to a damage phase. Um, we have quite a few teams oh, in Oryx. We could see like a comeback right here, possibly with the one phase. This could happen. Nosey's on second sword. Okay. Uh, and we're on final sword here with, with Snazzy, so this could be a come from behind victory right here. They did just bank the chalice, so it does look like it is about that time. Hopefully here in a second, we might see a come from behind victory. Uh, two teams on damage right now. Engelbert's team as well. No, no, let me grab. I got okay. This, this is going to come oh, yeah, down to the actually, absolute right wire. Cooking, here we go. Cooking. Ten seconds. Once again, this looks like another two phase in my opinion, this unless they guys. go crazy. We're going to need some winter bite level of chunking from back in the day if they want to save that, which they are not going to be <laughs> doing. Not be Let's go back that. to the next one. Here we go. We're going right back to Snazzy, I believe. Go. 
All right, here we go. Oh, Rev died. Uh, I hope it's fine. No, I died, I died, yeah. You can very oh. clearly see a meta here with Crota damage. Yes, yes. yes. you can. Did they lose the Oversoul? This is not going to be. So, yeah. Oh, I sure uh -oh. hope. Not. I mean, oh, I, I heard I him say, I "Oh did, no!" I did hear. Oh, it I heard too. an "Oh no!" It, it's an all or nothing here. Then possibly we'll yeah. see. Their damage. Maybe is they good. get the damage. Their damage though. is good, but uh, oh. oh no, I, I don't think so. I, I just don't. Oh, uh, I don't come know. on! I don't think they, no, they don't have no. it. They don't have it. No! Right. And, and they're so close down to Aaron's screen. Oh here my we go. God! All right, we're going right back down to Aaron oh here. Oh my God! Aaron gosh. is about to start. Well, they still are actually. They they're need doing a, the first. That yeah, was they, the first wait, sword. Oh, they want oh, sword. They want sword. sword. Here we go. One here we sword. go. This could be it right here. Guys, it is it is a lot more complicated here. to get a one sword, but we, you can. They it might is have possible. stacked too. We didn't watch. We didn't. So they could have stacked a couple. They could have, but I'm not sure. I'm not I sure. Know. I don't know either. I don't know either. We'll just have to see. Here we go. Can they it's bring like this home? Finish. Yep. Yes. Here we go. And hopefully... Oh, no, yeah, one, two, four. Oh, yes, another shock it on. Never mind. <laughs> Here we go, and I think that is a see you later for Mr. Crota. I think we're seeing first place right here. A Looks like it. Congratulations. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> first first place. To Aaron. First place. Here first we place go. Let's Aaron. go. Could be worse. There we go. What a fantastic finish Nicely there. done. I mean, they took advantage of their team. one moment. Looks and like didn't. Engelbert is about to... Okay. They're, they're doing their we, second phase right now. We have Engelbert's POV. Engelberts, yes, I'm pulling them up right now. All right, and oh, while man. Evan is doing that, I'll rewalk you guys through how this works. So every team now is on a 15 minute countdown to finish this to place a time, or else they will end up with just a did not finish time, and that will then be added to their next uh, sum of best. Everybody will get a default time that doesn't make it within the 15 minutes. But here we go. Let's see how this goes. Let's see it. Let's see it. I mean, it's final I'm final stand. Going. Plenty of time, and they they Got should the have this as up. well. Man, this was Engelbert, a... Engelbert was really throwing his strand punches getting into this. I hope that they... I think their other guy is going to carry the damage for final yeah, there. I but think they do close. have it. Yeah, it was close, oh but they do goodness. have that. And so we just saw from at one point Snazzy and Reminisce possibly being able to take first to now it's going to be even tough possibly getting third here. So we'll keep an eye out for them. But man, what wow. a turnaround here. This wow. is just the nature of racing. So we have second place locked in. Who else is very close? We see uh, Denzel Nazi. is about to start a damage phase. Nazi just got a clear as well. So we have three teams that are already done. And I'm seeing that Sap is still at bridge right now. They must have had a wipe at bridge. And you're seeing how much that affects your team. And then I think Irina was in the same exact spot. A lot of just unfortunate scenarios early on. If you die early on in this raid, it is so punishing. We're about to see Viol. Start a damage phase right now. Rem just started as well. Here we'll we see go. If they can. Crota's a bit far back. They might not get everything they want here. Oh, come All right. on. Yeah, this is so far, at least the way it's moving, looking like a two, unless some major, I mean, major chunking happens here. So I think this is a two. We haven't seen a team hit a one. We saw they were, Rem get very they were close. Very, very close. And if they had Oversoul, it still might have been theirs to lose. It looks like they actually died. Uh, they played it. They got close, oh. but they're okay. They're okay. What? <laughs> they're okay. I have. I was not <laughs> expecting that. What? And it and looks like. Oh my goodness! White. I, like my thing would just not. He <laughs> Rem, he good. Rem was gonna shoot the oversoul, but didn't, and then went back oh to God. swiping, and it it cost him. He should have just kept swinging. Oh, oh no! My gosh, we are seeing a colossal. Turn around that is here. So unfortunate. It is because I mean they were the front runners to this one, but this is like I said, guys, why you can't get down on yourself just because you might be behind for a certain encounter. And now we're seeing Denzel, oh, we're, we're and, seeing, and hopefully he doesn't lag out because uh, we're seeing some lag here on the screen. No. Oh, 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 oh! Yeah, I think they have it. They, they have got it. it. They, they have got it. it. They do have it. They, they have it. They have it. They have it. They have it. There was a little lag there, but I think they had it. I was scared their stream was gonna die. Oh, and that was a one phase. Denzel's team. Wait, that, wait, that counts though, right? Does that? How does that work? Yeah. yeah. Okay, that well, counts. Sure. Yeah. Died, as I believe as long as Crota dies. As long as, as, long as, as Crota dies. Rules, yeah, as long as he yes, dies. Yes, because explain to me why that is a rule for that specifically. Uh, just because the Oversoul likes to sometimes stay in for like up to ten seconds afterwards. So it's like 
it's not even worth just saying, oh, well, if Crota doesn't die, or if, if mission complete doesn't happen, then it's not a clear, because it's just too inconsistent. It's removing the so, RNG from it. Yeah, exactly. Oh my god. Their game won't even, like, it won't even cooperate with them. They're just stuck in purgatory. <laughs> they beat it, and that's all that matters. So, GG's to them. And it's going to be interesting to see now, Ken Snazzy and Reminis and Uzi, can they bounce back here? Oh man, this is gonna be here we go. I mean, this we are seeing a really, one. really. Oh, it's, I mean, it was so unfortunate on that first one. They were so close. Rem dies in the air. Then it was just right after a little bit of juggling. First one losing an oversoul. That first one losing the oversoul. It, it's tough, but at the same time, they were this close to a, a final hair. stand. Yep. So like, it makes you wonder. Hey, if they had just banked their enlightenment on Crota instead of even going for the oversoul, do they get that or? If they get the res fast before damage starts, do they get that damage? You know, all those little things add up. And you know that could be the difference between, unfortunately, here, first place and a lot lower. Yes. And so sometimes we see, once again, that balance between being safe and going, you know, completely, you know, 100%, you know, crazy. And here we go. Let's see. So this is try number three, I believe. Yep. And once again, we see great damage so far. Yes, we do. But I did see Snazzy missed his grapple point up there, so he actually had to get another grapple yeah, going. This is so going damage, to be just, very man. close. I think they should. Oh, he got. Uh, he might. Uh, they no. played it safe, and, they, right. and I do understand. After two times wiping at the, you know, they right totally, at the last. Man, they totally could have gotten that. Too. And they That's did, but I do understand psychologically why they did that. Yes, and part of. Part of me though, man, like, oh, dude, part of me wants to just say, listen, man, you better bank the enlightenment into Crota, get that little bit of extra damage. But at the same time, if you wipe twice already, there's no reason to do that and just get a clear. You're not that far behind. You're comfortable with the other raids. You're confident, good players. So it doesn't really make that big of a difference. Yeah, but man. Oh, man. I can definitely hear Rem being the person saying, "Yeah, let me. Uh, uh we're we're two phasing." Just just knowing him. Yeah, and you, and you really can't blame him at this point. I mean, I yeah. think that that's the right call, and I think if they would have done that, maybe the first time, if they hadn't have lost Oversoul, I think they still might have only lost to Aaron. It would have definitely been second. I don't think they would have fallen any further from second. Yeah, definitely. Oh man, and right there, you'll see that Snazzy almost gets a one sword. If the tractor was there just slightly earlier, I think that is a one sword, yeah? It was very, very close. Um, it would either be a one sword, you can get him like, uh, like 16th of an inch away from the thing without, where like with a tractor and still not send. One swords are like really inconsistent. Yes, I, mean, I I didn't get one at all in our three man. I know you I got did, one. I did get one. Yeah, I did. And the funny thing was, it was one where we weren't trying to get it. Yeah, that's I, that's always when it happens. And then yep. it catches you by surprise. Exactly, because I've done it before as well, but it was nothing that I uh, could do consistently, and I had to really like kind of mash. But it, I accidentally got it very casually. Oh, he did not get that one. I think oh. that this is, they should be okay, but they'll be yeah, fine. They, they've but... had pr pretty good damage. I think they should be fine here. Yes. Oh! <laughs> and there we go. Sorry. And, and unfortunately, that does sum up how their run went there. The classic, <laughs> the classic snazzy yelling at Crota. <laughs> Oh, All right, and so we have officially had another finish there. On our DNF timer. That's what I was just about minutes. to ask. So we had about, did you say halfway through, we had about, about seven and a half minutes. Is that where we're at? Seven and a half. All right, so guys, just as a reminder, once again, after the first team does finish each raid, every other team has 15 minutes to get their raid done or else they'll just get a did not finish default time that will then be added on to the next raid. All right, and so... <laughs> We should oh. be seeing another finish, hopefully, here. Okay, we have Sap right now on a <clears throat> another, what looks like to be another two phase of Uryut. Man, these Uryuts are just, like, Uryut is so unlucky. Yeah, it is. I mean, it's one of those, like you mentioned, Evan, if you don't get it on the first one, I mean, it just becomes infinitely harder. Yeah. Infinitely. <laughs> what's, so, what's so funny, you two, huh? Dude. <laughs> Somebody just, made a gif like about the tourney already. 
And it's uh -oh. like Jarvis. It's like Iron Man and Jarvis. And it's like, Evan, explain the oob to me. Evan, <laughs> 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 explain the oob. <laughs> That's funny. But yeah. Let's hope I mean, it's great just seeing that, like, you know, how much, like, community is already, like, loving the tourney already. Oh, it's so, so cool, man. I, I love when people just come together. Just have, yeah. like, just, honestly, just have some fun. Make some good memes. That's what it's all about, bro. Exactly. Yes, it is. And some boss bakes. So, ear you die, please. <laughs> <laughs> Set their souls free here, please. And they should be fine here. As long as they get their wizards, there should be no issue. Here we go. So on to Crota here. There we, we go. We probably have, if I had to estimate, what, maybe max four something minutes? No, it took a Where are we at on our time? We're at 920 on the timer right now. Oh, okay, so they okay. got to so go fast on Crota. They then. Gotta go. We do have five phase. minutes and 40 seconds. We are looking at a one phase. Well, we're looking at a black screen right now, but hopefully we're looking. Okay, so they yeah, did just move. Good, 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 yeah. good, good. I was like, please, no. Yeah, I was and, like, and, we don't have time for that right now. And what you just saw right there from Sap's teammate was that um, when when you start the encounter at Crota, you can eager edge through the doors and actually grab the chalice early, it looked like. I'm not sure why else you would be out there. Or does the chalice not even spawn that early? Um, but you, you can get, er yeah, it looks like, it looks like that did happen. So they, they are already, trying to move they, already out there. I think yeah. they realize, I mean, it's, it's really, you know, it's now or never time. to get a time. Yes. So here we go. Yeah. We have any other teams that are also close here. Uh, Irina is pretty far away. Um, looks like I can't tell where they oh, wipe. They're on the bridge. <laughs> yeah, they're. Uh, I don't think they're going to get very far. Okay, so this might There's be the last you. possible finish here. Then we'll see. So we'll go full screen on them we'll and go full see screen if on they Sam. can clear. One more time update. What are we looking at? Are we past the 11-minute mark yet? Uh, yep, just hit it. Okay, four minutes to get this done. So they are looking like they're going to two-sort this. Probably the safe way to go. They do have enough time for, I'd say, a comfy one phase. I don't think there's time for a comfy two, but there is time for a comfy one. So let's see how this goes. Let's see it. Yes, they are going to be doing more raids after this, guys. The next raid up is Vow of the Disciples. So when this raid is over, we're going to ask Kronos and MJ to explain to us just some breakdown of Vow of the Disciples, kind of cooler stuff that it's got going on, some of the tricks and traps that we could be running into, just so you guys are, you know, all up to speed on everything that's going on there. The but next raid is DSC. Oh, it's DSC. I thought it was Vow next. My bad. No, okay, so yeah. DSC well, is up we, next. We wanted to not do two long raids back to back. That's fair. I think that's, that's good fair. for morale. I, we're gonna see teams yeah. fly through DSC. And DSC is really cool. I think it's the most fun in this. Or no, I'm not gonna say the most fun, but I think it's the most fluid in the sense of there's just not a lot of breaks in the action. It's just go, 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 and then it's done. Yes. It's also one of the cooler ones to watch personally, just because of how much like game breaking stuff like there's so uh, many agreed oops yep. and stuff so yeah. i think that's just really cool to watch even if you don't really know what's happening you're like holy crap they're yep. way outside of the mount and we'll see that from jump street that's gonna be right at the beginning so. i would i would also say dsc is like this really cool it's like built for low manning in a way because it has a really cool um coordinated almost new strat to really every encounter but it, it, it is just uh and here is very we cool. go. I don't want to cut you off, but where are we at on time? One final time update. Where are we looking? 12.05. We got 12 three, five, minutes. three minutes. So in theory, maybe possible to do a second bake if maybe they moved, but they really do want to get this. They really do want to get this, oh, but I don't think they are going to. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, mean, I the don't think they're getting this. So right now. this is going to come down to the wire because they are not getting this. No. They are not getting that. And there was so, a clip as well of a really good one face. So let me DM you that as well. Perfect. And you want to pull that up like once the DNF once is yes. over. Yep, yep, yep. yep. It, I, in theory, this is possible, but I do think they need to one sort. Or if they don't, it's going to be very tight. It's going to be really tight. Yes, it is. All right. Yeah, so we we'll just have a remember on the timer. 13 on the timer. Ooh. Two minute warning. Two minute Two warning. Two minute warning. Yeah, they need to get this sort and go. Here we go. Again, for anybody who's watching right now, um, it's right when Crota dies. It's not necessarily when it says mission end for this raid. Because there's inconsistencies with the Oversoul, which we have seen. Already. Already. So it's right when Crota dies. And here we go. He is Tractor. This could determine if they get a timer, if they end up not finishing. Here we go. And they do elect for two swords. Okay, where are we at on time? Oh, he cursed, oh! Oh, he cursed Brawl Finisher. No. Bungie, please fix it. Oh, please fix MJ. it. 
Oh, Dude, oh I hate my. That bug oh, so much. that bug Dude. hurts very bad. That happened to me more than a couple times. The curse throw so finisher is stupid. so tough. Yes, it is. By the losing end of. It, yeah, if they lose. Dual flawless on last bridge uh, because of that. Oh, it's so bad. Where are we at on time? It can't be more than a minute you and got a half. Less than a minute. 50 less seconds than a minute. Coming. Oh, my gosh. When we get to that last 30, give us the 30 second warning when we're nah, there. I don't. Get oh, no. Face. Okay. I think they realize. And they realize. They're they not going to get they there. Realize, they and realize. that is the DNF yeah. timer, guys. All right. Yeah. And that uh, with what a first race, though. Yes, absolutely. That was that was actually like really closer. surprising across yeah. the board. I feel like um, like just from every single team that we saw, we saw a lot of just like cons what felt like consistent back and forth. And a lot of the time that was made up by Aaron was just optimization on killing ads. It was it was little optimizations that added up over time. And unfortunately, we did see some wipes. Right, I would agree, because I'd say their two biggest things would be the optimization on bridge, just like you just mentioned, and them being able to make up time over Stazzy and Reminisce. But then the biggest one that tripped up most of the teams, one phasing your U. One phasing Everybody your U. else that had to do an extra phase. I mean, we saw just how punishing that was, and, and ultimately, it got them the victory. Yes, 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 it did. And um, guys, we are about to see some DSC, so let me uh, let me let me pull this up real quick for Mr. Kronos. So this is is this the uh, which which one, Kronos? Am I pulling up? Uh, the Crota one phase, yeah. Crota one phase. All right. Okay, so we are seeing. So we're kind of already midway through it, but here we go. Nice and lightened. The expunge, nice. And then it seems like I guess a little lag on their stream side. Yes, this is this is the PC fighting the game and the yes, stream at the same yes, time. Yes, it is, but it prevailed. You see Lumina's out. Yes, you're seeing that uh, enhanced surrounded as well on the swords. Yep, really everything coming together here for. I mean, I don't think it showed the final stand there, but for, no, for, but a, for a one phase. For a one yes. phase, yeah. That was our only one phase, right? I believe, right? Uh, uh, no, I think we had, I think we had like two, two, two or three. three. Two, two or three, three one phases, okay. But that was, I mean, it's still really nice to see. It's really satisfying to see a, it is. a one phase with three players, no matter what. Yes, it is. And with good old Tanix. We yes. may be seeing, speaking of that, yes. <laughs> that may be happening again sooner than you think. Now with Tanix, because basically hot swapping has returned, have people actually prompted to use hot swapping for these runs? I, that would um, be something I'd be curious on. Oh, we Maybe haven't we see seen it. too much optimization with the hot swapping at least. Like I said, we have gotten to a point where we are so powerful where hot swapping comes back and it's not being implemented. Imagine the world that we are in. <laughs> like, just think about that for one second. <laughs> that that is that is not being implemented. It just goes to show we've come a long way in terms of how powerful we are in this game these days. We are so strong. Again, let's say this again. We are so strong that hot swapping, hot swapping. is not worth it no. for most teams. We've come a long way, and we are now, I mean, to a point where we really do need a big reset button. Because we are just so strong, and it's dumb. All right. And so here we go with Deepstone Crypt, like we were talking about earlier. We're going to see some very cool tech. We're going to see some very cool oobs. And ultimately, we are just going to see go, go, go. The pace of this is going to be, there's not going to be a bridge encounter where we're going to be, you know, I'm not going to say, like, you know taking a ton of time like ultimately they still moved pretty fast but there's no one i would say this takes forever yeah encounter Although, what, would, what would even be the longest mj and chrono said out of everything i'm trying to even think like i know they're all close but what would be the longest for uh, DSC? probably for DSC. Descent, right? it would definitely be descent gotcha yeah. okay i guess i guess chad is right i did see a couple people in chat say you could just hot swap with a rocket then have a bait and switch rocket and it would probably still be good but that's correct Overall, guys, like we do have some damage metas that are just so strong that you don't need to be no, hot swapping. No, you, I mean, we have Banner of War. We, yeah, <laughs> that's kind of enough. Set. Banner of War, yeah. Grab a <laughs> grab a ball in the air and punch a boss. 
Yep, grab your pocket well. Grab your pocket well. <laughs> oh man, and DSC, I just get so happy whenever I see this raid. It's just such a special raid. A hey, shout out to the Melania background on this one. Um, yes, it is. A good old Elden Ring for you, Mr. Elden, Elden Ring, yeah. It's, um... Man, I think, I think the DSC was just like this really... It was like a very like happy raid. I don't know. I feel like there's no bad encounters in DSC. I, I really don't think that there is. I really like that raid. No, I think I think everything. The only thing that I think anybody ever even picks at at this raid is just Tanix coming back. But outside of that, you know, if you would just would have slapped on any other name for any other boss, I, I do agree. Like, I mean, in general, this seems to be with time, it's aged well. Um, so with that being said, I think one of the big kind of things here that we're going to see is really how our team's going to bounce back from some of the the really woes that they faced last time. We saw a lot of unfortunate ear youths. We saw some bridge wipes. We saw, you know, over souls being unfortunately, you know, lost in Crota wipes happening as well. How is how our team's going to bounce back here is really going to be, I would say, telling for the rest of this raid race. Yes, 100%. Not to interrupt really quick, but before yep. the raid starts, uh, there's a new Cadgar because one of the streams is apparently like timing out over and over again. So if you look in game day casters, you'll be able to uh, you'll be able to see it. Okay, we will go to that right now because I think we see exactly what you're talking about right now. Yes. Thank you for making a new Cadgar, by the way. Yeah. Thank, thank you, Breeze. Yeah. And guys, we, we know a few things have been lagging, guys. It's really just there's a lot of different POVs. Some people's streams have lagged. We've seen a few different contact and destiny servers. Just know that it's not on our end. It's just it happens every once in a while, but we'll try to make sure we manage it as best as possible. And once you guys get that Cadgar set up, I think we can do a countdown. We can keep looking for you guys. We're dual flawless in this shit. <laughs> okay. Oh uh, yeah, you have to oh. mute every stream. Yes, we will, and then we will. I'll uh, get you ready. Then you can do your countdown. All right. And here we go. Take it away. We're gonna start. No, we don't. We're gonna start with four POVs. Counting down. Six, five, four. Three, two, one, and they're off. Go! Six, five, six, stream delay. Oh, we got that stream delay. Some good stream delay. Go! Let's go. Is that like and it's here so. we go. Oh my goodness. The racers are off. So here we go. So we have two different stories here. We have the story of is Aaron's team going to be able to maintain and the other story are the other teams such as especially Snazzy and Reminisce that had a lot of unfortunate errors and right at the end going to be able to make up and forget about what happened in the last raid and really come back and, you know, knock this out of the park. Yeah, we're going to be seeing what, I mean, I, I hope we get to see some good slip streaming here. Last time we saw DSC, it was a lot of shatter skating. But I'm actually like really interested it. to see if we see some good old fashioned no. uh, Sparrow slip streaming here. Let's see it. We're going to see some very cool stuff, especially depending on the POVs that we're watching. As we do get into some of these different encounters, there's going to be some cool tech that you guys are going to be seeing in the audience. And we're already seeing a shatter skate from yes, two different teams. We are, which screen. is fitting, you know, with all the snow that is around. Yes, it is, it is, it very, is very, very fitting. It is just way easier yeah, to do the shatter skate route because not like slipstreaming is 100% like a, a oh, skill. We, we are it we is. are seeing some slipstreaming though. I saw in the corner. Mm -hmm. there go. It's gonna be a mix, but I do agree. It seems like you know shatter. Oh, and we okay, we're okay. Yeah, shatter skating is definitely a lot more consistent. I will agree there. Um, did we, I think we lost. That's what I thought. Oh. I thought we had lost him for a second, but he came back. Yeah, I, he that's came why back. I, I got I got nervous there for a second, but I think we're okay there. Hopefully. And I wouldn't even say it's more consistent. I would just say it's simply the fact that most people participating in this probably can't slipstream to the degree that would be better than shatter skating or consistently enough to where they would implement it in the tournament. Gotcha. Especially with here with a consistency based tourney, you definitely it's don't want to take certain right. risks, you know? Yeah. Because you can slip stream like you can, like some people that are crazy at it can like, like 1-6, one, 1-7 one, seven sometimes. Uh, uh, for, can, they can get it from the first bubble to the last bubble or the bubble before the last, like pretty, pretty consistently. That's insane. 
You right, see here well, with a lot of people's routes, regardless of what they take, they're all kind of right next to each other. All in the cave section right now, heading to first. Yeah, I'm trying to like kind of envision with this race here what's going to be. Like we kind of saw Ear you end up being really the gatekeeper to a lot of people's runs here. Not sure what's going to, you know, cause any teams to have any separation here. It's going to be interesting to see kind of what teams, I guess, somewhat struggle with, even somewhat. Mm -hmm. For DSC, while like earlier and I said like there's a lot of going out of bounds and stuff, the thing is, is like that's the best way to do it. And a lot of those strats can be messed up very easily and if you do mess it up sometimes especially for like crypt security you can't reset it back up so you'll see separation in people messing up like that that'll be the biggest separation we see is if people mess up the encounters then you'll probably just see them not be able to really catch up too much just because no one else in front of them has Gotcha. And what you guys saw there too, guys, even with just that rally flag, everything is being done on purpose here. Like, absolutely. Do you want to talk, Evan, about that, what you just saw right there? So, basically, when they're ooping out of the map, a teammate needs to put down a rally flag, basically wedging it in between, like, the steps and the wall, so that the person who's out of bounds with good old Bastion, we love our Bastion, mm, yep. good old Bastion <laughs> grabs the rally flag and is able to read back and forth while having scanner and seeing exactly where the operator who's underneath with Lumina, which you see Reminis is using on the top yep. right. And they are cooking it. Buffy. So you already yes. see it, guys, just like that, they are already past. So like I said, it's going to be a very, very interesting ride here, seeing how they bounce back from Crota and so far so good. Right, and so Rem, what he did was he basically buffed his teammate with Lumina so that the person with Bastion it can just cook almost all of I mean, they can cook all instantly. of the dark side instantly. <laughs> instantly. So it just makes it very, very fast. You're seeing some swaps for some optimization. And, and now we're about and, to and see... And one of the cool things, too, I don't even want to interrupt, but if those are uh, Reminis' actual splits, that was the fastest they've ever done that. He did gold, if you look at the top right. I don't yeah, know if no, those he, are his official splits, but if they are, that is the fastest he's ever done that. Yeah, if that... He, yeah, he might have actually golded right there. I think yeah. he golded, because that was... They cooked. They did cook. <laughs> Absolutely cooked. It's going to be very, very interesting to see with the runners that do have splits, kind of how they compare to their normal runs versus race runs. Usually, yes. it's very un in, not normal to kind of be on pace with your your normal runs because you have a lot more times to wipe. You don't have to worry about it. Here, you make a mistake, you're done. Yes, we've watched that. Crazy, why? How I just got air coded like that? Oh, oh no, no, no! No. Dialogue start at least. Well, I guess time saved and time lost yeah, due to air codes. Golded just the air code. That does hurt. Hopefully, they are able to bounce back. I don't know what is the process when he gets back. Hopefully, is he gonna spawn where he needs to spawn? Yeah, he's right next to him now. Oh, yeah, he yeah, 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 before, yeah. but you're seeing Uzi's already. Getting ready to do what's I believe he's trying to do a pod skip, right? Uh no, so Uzi is setting up for early Atrex, so all it does is it allows you to start it immediately after uh the cutscene ends. So watch like yeah. now, bam, it's already started. Perfect. Um, so uh, we probably had stream play there, but um it, what he does is cause what you yeah, saw whenever out. Rem walked into the door, Uzi was out of the map. Yeah. So he he That's goes cool, from Crypt Security yeah. to the Atrex encounter. And there's a spot underneath the uh, bottom terminal that you can just swipe back into the map, and then you just start on the other side of the doors, and it allows you to you know, gotcha. start and, early. And, and to piggyback off that too, I mean, we can see that they unfortunately lost 53 seconds from that happening. If you look from their splits, yeah, they lost a lot. They lost, they lost a lot of time there, over a, almost a minute. But yeah. on the other end. You know, they are neck and neck with Aaron, who is in first place right now. And I'm looking at some other teams, and it looks like they're both in the lead. There's Denzel is on Atrex as well. And it, I mean, it looks like we got quite a few teams that are just kind of all gathered up in the same area. Yeah, and so you can see here in the top right with Aaron, we're seeing a return of what looks to be good old Parasite when it comes yes. to making sure that, that Atrax goes down in one go. So we're gonna be seeing this here in just a moment after these servers go down in the top left of your screen for those who are watching. We should see a clean 
obliteration of a tracks here in just a moment yes good old parasite you get it to 20 stacks you launch it then you pop a super and you should send a tracks to final stand instantly we're seeing it right here here we go here we yeah. go fade away thunder crash out and nice. i'll see you nice. i will see you later it was cool seeing them use monochromatic because that's why they're using Icolos just to shoot to give their crashes and that grenade just a little bit the little bit it needs to push because uh, without it sometimes the uh, one floor with two titans can be uh, a little inconsistent. And it's funny what you mentioned is exactly around what happened with me because <laughs> we did not. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Yep, yep, yep. And here we go. This should be a comfy finish right here. And. They throw on Lament uh, for final okay, stand. One, one, one more. One, one more. Uh, Need to find one it. One more. And, okay, it looks like they're... Oh, no. They're having a little bit of trouble here. What appears to find... I mean, they... Wait. Oh, my. Okay, they are okay. But they, they played, got it. They played wow. that very close. Yes. That, that was close. Let's go straight quickly like to Rem. Also Rem. That's what I was about to say. Time. So they... Yeah. Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. Unless they're delayed. No, it looks like they might be just slightly behind. Oh, no, wait dead they got yeah. it no. they, they did get it. they did they get it, it though so we are oh, probably max 20 seconds apart um between the two racers teams uh, rem might have messed up yeah. skip and depending on the skip they could make up those 20 seconds yeah but did he get it though is the question yeah i do not think so i think rem's actually oh no wait rem was doing airlock wasn't he Yo, yeah, but he, he might have, he yeah, he might have failed airlock because they're always changing airlock. characters. Oh no! That well, is very we rough. will it's keep like an eye out. Just one floored. So we do have three teams. What was the third team? Just so we make sure we have that as well. Oh, dude, wait! Denzel's already on third encounter. Yes, we do have Denzel way ahead, actually. Like way um, ahead. Not sure where they made up the time um, from the first skips. encounter, but yeah. good lord, it must have been the skip. It must have been the skip, yeah. Wow, dude, that is actually insane. And so his stream is lagging, but it seems like he's not dude, contacting. Yeah, so dude, hopefully Den that <laughs> the stream is yeah. lagging, but Denzel is not. Denzel yeah, is in the Denzel lead is right now. Not letting his stream slow him down. Let's go, Denzel. <laughs> Here we go. And they took that risky stride of having those skips, you know. So what do we yeah. Off. And, and you know, here with this, I mean, the big thing that I mean, oh, this was this was an enjoyable encounter here too. I don't know if you want to walk um, the viewers <laughs> on what happens here with third encounter, first phase Tanix, but this I had a lot of fun with doing. Do you want to talk th through this just a little bit, Kronos and MJ? Oh, sorry, descent. Yes. Um, oh man. Uh, noob. Here we go. Yes. Oh my God. Yep. Dude. So. So this encounter for a while kind of got ruined because you... So, so there's like two ways to do this. We're only going to see the three core strat. Yep. Another way you can do this encounter is by despawning uh, the first round of cores. And you then you don't have to use the uh, scanner augment. Mm -hmm. Because it makes it to where all four are dunkable like permanently. Gotcha. Um, unfortunately, they patched all of the oobs in order to do that. And just recently people found a wall breach with a uh, stasis that you can just go out of like the top of the map with it again yeah so that made this encounter more bearable for just normal clears but uh otherwise this encounter i mean it's it's pretty pretty standard and i love that oob oh, that oob is so right now. no they, that's what yeah, yeah, they that's they that's are. what we had mentioned Holy yeah no, no it's happening yeah. right as you were explaining I've it this is the second time open. it's happening yep yeah. Yeah, <laughs> they're literally doing that to, it, to, it, to get rid of their joining yep they've timer. been doing it each time so it's been, it was Holy cool crap. you were you were actually explaining it in real time without realizing yeah yeah well that's what they're doing yep 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 and that that was actually why i'd asked you because i wanted you to to talk through right as it was happening so that worked out perfectly Oh man, well, hit. The good I'm hoping news, the stream holds on. I'm hoping, I'm dude. Hoping if the stream can hold on, the stream can hold on. But realistically, I feel like dude, we're watching a hey, PowerPoint. Hey, well, he's so fast that not even his stream can slow him down. You know, and I love it. So let's see, you know, hopefully, you know, if, if they're able to keep this lead, I don't know if there's anybody that's going to be able to catch up to them. They seem like they're at least minutes, like maybe a minute ahead, oh, at least. Oh, they're getting rid of their deactivation time. Yes. I didn't even realize this. Yes. Yep, exactly. Neither of us paying attention. Yep. <laughs> yeah, yes. It's funny, I was trying to throw you guys an alley-oop because they were doing it and you didn't even realize you were slamming They it. are, They are absolutely <laughs> cutting time down, though, which is really important here. 
Because they have a that lot of time to make up. Each round. Uh, each round. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh my god. I don't know if Tanix is even being shot right now, man. It's hard to tell. They put all their speed into the run, not they, the... Yes. <laughs> the, the stream does not matter. What matters is the tournament, man. So it looks like they have one more round to go. Um, and then they should be done. I believe. They have one more. I don't know where other teams are if we want to even take a peek just yes, to see how we're look. looking. We're seeing quite a few teams on descent. Yeah, just early on in descent. You can tell by the way the room looks that they're still pretty early, at least top left. Um, can't tell where Reminis is until he goes back on his screen. Also kind of middle. They're not. They're definitely not close to the end yet. They have a decent bit of rotations left. Yeah. Um, I think they have a solid lead. Yes. That once again, now at this point, it is theirs to lose. Like I had 100%. mentioned earlier. We're seeing right now, I'm actually, I'm just going to take, just because we're going to have a new category link, I'm going to take Spoiled Milk off just for right now, because we have a lot of teams on Descent. I want to make sure that we stay in the action on Descent. No right in the action, and we should be done with our first Descent. I would say in the next 30 seconds, if uh, they continue on the pace they are on. Let's yes. double Let check. Let me go back to Denzel real yeah, quick. Denzel was... should be done here in one more. Let's see where they are. It's oh. hard to tell. He's super weak. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, they should be okay. Should that be was okay. intentional. Yeah, 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 it should be okay. It should be okay. It should be okay. That one, that one felt a little yeah. too intentional. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice, you know, a, a, a nice quick refresh. A nice yes. quick refresh. And by the way, in case anybody was wondering, you can actually tell how many rounds in you are in descent by looking at those little green bars in the middle of the arena. Yep. Those little, they, they kind of look like loading bars. The more that you get, the more that you are. So they're on the you final round right now. You can see there's right one now. more left. Yes. Exactly. And with that being said, they are ready for Tanix. They are. This is going to be a photo finish. And Man. actually, maybe photos. <laughs> it might not be video. This will be an actual if photo If we see finish. one explosion, this might be like Oppenheimer, dude. We might just not see the stream anymore. We might not. But if they make it past the finish line, that is all that matters. It seems like they are at least a minute ahead of finding us. <laughs> it's just the photos. <laughs> this is a photo finish. <laughs> If you guys were watching, uh, if you guys had Justin stream, I mean, you can see that he's just been spamming uh, Aeon finishers in the middle. Yes. Uh, what that's doing is it's basically removing the need for a rally flag because they're just going to be able to start Tanix with yeah, full yeah. ammo as soon as possible. And Makes it looks sense. like I mean they're right behind as well. Like they're mm -hmm. not they're not far behind either. It's yeah. Descent is one of those encounters that you can you can catch up with, even though it feels like you can't. Yeah. Especially now that now that you can despawn your augment. Uh, the encounter is based on how fast you clear ads, so you can catch up and it not be a detriment. Because like last tournament, went before the oob was discovered, you could still speed up the rounds, but if you did, you would have just wiped. Gotcha. Well, we will see. I, st I still do think they have a little bit more of a, than a 30 second lead. So I do also, I'm going to hold on to, I think it's theirs to lose, Denzel's. It is definitely Denzel's I, I think lose. if we see a solid Tanix, a solid one phase, I think it'd be very hard for them to come back. But we're going to see. Let's see how Aaron's doing right now. Because, you know, this is the Our team last that winner. just, I mean, they just dominated Crota. So let's see how they can close out Descent and then hopefully Tanix as well. And now last time we saw Tanix, we saw a lot of teams using a bunch of different loadouts for damage. Yeah. Um, I wonder what we'll see this time and, around. And we should probably take yeah, a peek because they have too. three <laughs> they have three more rounds actually. So they have a decent no. chunk yes, of lead. They decent, yeah, they have a yes. decent lead on Aaron. So we are already seeing Denzel at Tanix and uh, so, so we see rockets here at least from one. We can yes. see that now. I'm gonna Trace rifle, Wither yep. Horde, Rocket. Solar rocket too. Are we thinking that we have one galley, two? Oh. It'll be interesting to see what they're doing. I don't I'm, know what they're doing. I'm think, I'm are they thinking they just bait and switch? That's what I'm thinking too. Um, <clears throat> and we'll see. In, yeah, we're seeing right we'll now. We'll see here that, in a second, though. Yes, and Wither Horde, I believe, is very good for suppressing because basically you can just run around, and Wither Horde will keep ticking while you're running. Yep. I yeah, so looks like we're about to see some bait and switching right here, right after this. Because I think this is their second round. I think. Wait, we did come in the middle of it, but I do think this was their second. So this they're gonna, should they're be gonna a finish ball. right here. Yeah. 
Yeah, I don't know why. What you can, I, I they're gonna wipe. You're just, gonna refresh. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Uh -huh. Get that augment lockout taken care of. Now, in the slower way that you see people do three man, more for like the flawless, you'll see a glacier titan make a bunch yep. of glaciers. <laughs> And it'll and, block Tanix. And transparently, that's what we did. Yes. <laughs> that is a little bit easier. And that basically stops the lockout time. Or it, it allows you time to pick up the augments again. But because this is a race, and because Flawless doesn't matter, and because these guys are all insane, they're just going to go. They're just going to die and get the timer right back for them. Yes, they are, which is almost no room for error, though. So they Wait, really do need he to... Never, he never picked up the augment. Uh-oh. Whoa. Uh -oh. I think he did. He hold it and not realize he did. No, he, he didn't. Have, he didn't pick it up. That's he died. Died. Well, that, oh, so he just forgot. He just forgot. Oh, if he just for oh that that they um, don't have that's, they just, that's that's it. That's a wipe. That's a wipe. That's and a now oh. with just like that, this could be the moment for Reminis yes, Nasty and Uzi to come in. Can. Here we go. Come on, Justin. See, I had thought he went up to it and just didn't pick it up, but he forgot. He forgot. That is. Oh my gosh. Especially yeah. Something that I'm actually really surprised that I'm not seeing um, on some of these streams yeah. are uh, Strand Titans. Because recently, like, the first two-man one phase yeah. was done with on two Strand Titans. And I, my guess is just the fact that um, when ads are alive, it takes longer for Tanix to go into damage. Yeah. But looking at Rem's stream, it doesn't really look like they're killing much. So I'm, I'm honestly surprised. They must just not have found it consistent. Yeah, maybe it's comfort as well maybe it, it's just being comfortable it, and here we go yeah. being comfortable just you know caused them not to wipe and could be the reason they win are you this is an og this is we see double slugs mr evan what year are we in right now I, clearly <laughs> what, clearly not 2023 what, anymore what year are we in right now we're in 2077 with this strap <laughs> man I, I don't know oh, chat man. does this, this look familiar this should look Justin familiar Shane. to a lot of people Okay. Why use Rocket 7 when you can just go back to classic 2020? Classic double slug. <laughs> Here we go. That's a one phase. And old hot that head. should be a Outbreak. first place finish. <laughs> Outbreak. Outbreak! Oh my gosh. What year are we in? <gasps> oh, no, 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 no way. No Uzi, way. Uzi and Dazzle no, they kill. should Uzi have it. Kill. They should Uzi have it. Kill. There's no 100%. way. Oh my God. Let's, do we have their audio up? Go I'm snazzies. Go, go snazzies. I need snazzy. Okay, they killed. They killed. They killed. Oh I heard dead, 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 dead. Good lord. I'm starting the timer. Bro, Brother, Brother. Error code bird, man. Oh my error god. Error code dude. bird. Are Thank you kidding fuck. me? At least it was in final. Oh At least it was in my final. Gosh. Okay, I'm, 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 going, I'm going to snazzy. Yes. Oh my gosh. You will be beauty. <laughs> Good. Uh, oh my God! Because Rem had Rem probably had a uh, a bad loadout like with surges. Yeah. So he got did, the when he swapped. Did it give him the? Him. Oh, that's yeah, so rough. Yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure it's if you have like two surges on one and then yep, three surges on another. Yep, that sends you to the shadow room. So yeah, wait. So yes. So in case anybody just finished. In case anybody doesn't team. know, MJ, explain that more with surges and and the bug with surges. Uh, so if you have on to like uh, you see it a lot in Solonez uh, on hunter because people will have two kinetic surges on and then they'll switch to three for final yeah um if you do that it just it just birds you like it just straight up like that's it just happens it's yep. so it's super dumb there you go you know, i don't guys. i don't want to cut you off but this is looking like a potential wipe he's, he's alone i don't even, have no res and all he's using is potential. Oh, you know, yeah. I was trying this to, you know. This is, this is I was a trying to hold on. This so, is a oh, Warden's Law. law. Hey, what do you, uh, you know, Warden's, Warden's Law. law for, <laughs> Warden's Law for the win, man. Warden's Law for this the win. I don't, I don't care what you doing? say. We, is we he got, the only person alive? No, he, he, was the only, he, was the, no, he was the only one alive. They unfortunately, oh, yeah, they had no, two, and then they ended up. The oh, Warden's man. Law, something I never thought I would see for some damage, so, man. So for, so for the second time, guys, and I want to really reiterate this because this is a really cool parallel. The first time we had Snazzy and Reminisce's team with Uzi, they wiped on Crota trying to one phase when they lost That's Oversoul, the and then they lost first place. Yes. This time we watched a Tanix wipe, or a pre-wipe because of forgetting the suppressor um, buff. But then them being oh, able to like come from a, a wipe, it was reverse. Yes, basically. It and looks now, like that team on screen used Strand Titans there, and they won phase with yes, it. Yes, Denzel. Yep. Denzel is, I believe, what second place? Here? Second place. So just off of one wipe, Reminis, Snazzy, and Uzi were able to take first place.
just like with one wipe with them on Crota, they unfortunately lost first place. So you guys are seeing here, even just one mistake can be the difference. And I want to commend them too, because they dealt with not only the kick at the end with Reminisce, yes. but the same kick around Atrex. Yes. That cost them 50 seconds. <laughs> Man, it, this, this today, we've already seen two different winners, so that's actually... That's the most yeah, this, different teams. This, it's the most variation. It's the most variation. So yes, we, this yeah. is so far the most, yeah, I would say balanced um, race that we've had. Yeah. Oh, dude, this I'm excited is. To see, uh, I'm excited to see Val because um, I know Remy and Dabs are Valcoholics. And then the. Uh, Valcoholics. <laughs> and then what's it called? Aaron's team also is like really into that raid. So it'll, it'll definitely be two teams that. Uh, I know I have tons of hours in that raid, so I'm, I'm interested to, in to see it. All right, and give me a quick do not finish uh, timer so I can know where we're at. We're at 320 on the timer. It's, it's in, never in, in terms of 320 left or nine minutes, or excuse me, I'm 12 oh, minutes left. Minutes. 12 minutes. Yeah, 12, 12 minutes left. 12 minutes okay. left, and we, I mean, ammo situation's not looking good here. No, it's not, but we'll see what his teammates' ammo's looking like. It's hard to tell in the top left. Looks like he still does have Sniper. The thing is, but... Aaron's lead on that first raid was so good that, like, even with this, they it's, it's going to be close. I'm actually curious to see who will be in the lead after this, but... True, Aaron... with the sum of us. Yeah, yeah, it will be interesting to see. We'll definitely want to get an update on the looter board here um, when we do move on. Yeah. To Val, just to kind of know yeah. where we're at. Yes. And to answer questions, guys, yes, there will be a VOD of this after the stream. Um, and I'll be trying to turn this into a larger video on YouTube one yep. day. So there'll be a video from Evan, and then luckily with YouTube VODs, they never go away. So this will exist forever. Oh my God, that they was got him so on a buzzer close. beater. They did. Right at the buzzer. That's what we like to see. Oh, GG's my there. My God. Yes, the VOD will exist. Um, forever, just like the last one as well. You can even reference the old Low Man tournament still on my channel as well. We made sure to hold on to them. That was so close. So we do have a third place officially then, yeah? It does appear. Because that would I be guess. Rem, then Denzel, then Aaron. And then right now we have Engelbert. We have Narwhals. Um, it looks like Vespertine is also at yeah, damage. Yeah, let's get vesper on the screen here it does look like they should have the damage too <clears throat> excuse me they should they should yep 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 I, yep yeah, don't question i like it but really the big thing that we're seeing from a lot of these teams is even if they are getting tanix to final stand a lot of these teams are struggling with ammo we are seeing touch of malice this i turn, love we to are see seeing this dude touch of malice touch man. of malice just got a fat buff yes it did and here we let's see you know how this performs here and then also warlock super 2 they should have they this. should have it yeah it would be it would be very very hard to mess this part up yep. but so the, we've only seen one Tanix final stand wipe, and that was because of only one Warden's Law. Oh my god, my brain is telling me... Warden's Law. Warden's, Warden's Law. law. <coughs> the me. Warden's Law was kind of awesome, though. I'm not going to lie. Like, full credit there. And Vespertine just gets the finish right there. Yep. So now we're seeing... Oh, who is the next closest? I mean... Tanix, it looks like a lot more teams are actually going to finish this one. We have month. a team going to Tanix damage right there. Oh, it looks like we've got two. Narwhals mm, yep. and... Uh, Sap. I didn't see the other shit. Look at, look oh, at man. Sap. Some people are... Look yeah, the they... No, no they just wiped. Done because he didn't... Nope. Yeah. He didn't get the it suppressor like off. He didn't suppress, so he couldn't bank. He couldn't bank. Oh, my he God. He couldn't bank, unfortunately. Well, let me go to, let me go to V roll <clears> real quick. <throat> Excuse me. How are we looking on time? We're six minutes in. We got less than ten. Less than ten minutes. And they're, I mean, they're cooking this right now. The Lumina's yeah. going, the rockets, the bait and switching, yep. the ammo refresh on the grapple. I mean, and come on. that's comfy. Come that's on. It's very, very comfy. I don't know why you super uh, he said, I don't know why he's super, yeah. so we'll see. But I think they still should be fine. But they did burn a super that they probably didn't need to burn. Yes, that is. And here we go. We'll see. That extra burst of super is so good for this final stand. It just makes it, it so it's... there's no panicking. Luckily, there's no there's running a around. Break. Pick up the heavy brick. Yeah, they're okay. Oh my they're, God. There's okay. like no consolidation on a spot, you know. And final standing moves around so much nicely. And done. there we go. GG's there as well. Another very nice finish. 
that from Violi? Violi, yeah. I believe it's is, is it Viol or Violi? We'll have to find it's, out. It's probably Viol. 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 Okay. From Viol. And uh, GG's we got there. Yurtle right here. I think <clears throat> Yurtle is the next closest. Good old Yurtle. Good old Yurtle. Still plenty of time to get this done. Oh, definitely agree. <laughs> or maybe not. <laughs> maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I love it. I love I love getting angry at Tanix, man. It's just it's so funny because like we did this raid, all of us yes, did this raid back yes, in 2021. Did. And if you were if you guys remember day one of Tanix, man, it was it was uh, the reactions of people seeing Tanix were just funny all, already. <clears throat> and then Tanix was actually no joke. No, he no wasn't. Joke. No, he was not a joke on day one. Not at all. Which is crazy, because if I feel like if um, <clears throat> if he like came to be a raid boss now, like if if we got him as like in the next raid or something, like DSC released next, yeah, yeah. Well, he would just get destroyed. Yes, he would. On day one, it yes. would be another Nezarak situation. Right, but we were just in a very different place at that point. Yeah, I'm using a sniper and and and, and a mm, slug yep. with anarchy on him, like. <laughs> It was yes, a different day, was, to say the least. Yes, I, I remember on day one, the team that ended up winning was just using Ikelo sniper, like back and forth hot swapping snipers. It wasn't yeah. even shotguns yet. Yeah. It was, yeah, it, it was. Is he, is he Ikelo? It was a terrorist team. It was yep. a very, very, like, it was an awesome day one, though, man. I, I gotta say, like, that was a very special one. That's I, I always yeah. have, like, such a. You did very well. Yes, I you, placed you, you did very uh, well. thirty six. Yeah, you did very well that raid. Yeah, I, I had a lot of fun in that one, man. I, I sometimes I miss raid racing just because of day ones are just so special. Yeah. But I mean, we love casting them, man. They're way, yes, way, way fun to cast. Yes, we do. That was for the next one. first day one, so we yeah. were we were still burgers. No, 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 man. I mean, did you, did you start playing then, or was that just your first time ever racing? Uh, that's when I started <clears> playing. That's around when I started playing. Gotcha. Chronos was playing beforehand. He's an old man. <laughs> Dude, yeah, we're not that old. We're old men ourselves. Yeah, yeah, we do get it. <laughs> if you're born in the 1990 anything at this point, you might as well be an old man. I don't want to hear that. Chronos <laughs> <laughs> is born in the 60s. It's okay. Oh man, <laughs> yeah. this MJ guy like just got born like at least eight years ago, man. 2013 type of kid, you know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so are they going to be able to save that they should, in theory? I just don't yeah, know how much time gonna... we have left on the clock is the big thing for me. We only Where have we five at? minutes left. We have five, five minutes, minutes left. This team, this team, unless they wipe, this they team They should have this clear. in five, 100%. Yeah. Yes, and Perry, thank you so much for the raid, by the way. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, my gosh. All righty, so right now... The leaderboards as well. Yes, I'm actually curious to see what the new stats look like after... The second raid just got I cleared. agree because Aaron did have a big gap. So I would guess that they're still in first. But it's just going to be a matter of it's, by how much. It's, po it's possible at least. We'll see. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. They, we'll see. <laughs> it's just the thing is I believe Aaron dropped a third, right? Or was he a second or third? It was, I think third, it was third. But I think uh, that Snazzy, or, Snazzy and Rowan, they dropped to what though in Croto? Snazzy and Rem. Yeah, they, yeah, they dropped. Yeah, excuse uh, me. Snazzy and Rem in uh, Uzi. They dropped to. Um, I think to it was. What? They were really it far. It was like in fourth Croto. or fifth. It, it was fourth or fifth. That uh, rem that so yeah so that's what I'm saying is we close yes this we'll is, see this one I mean ultimately man like DSC it's just the flyer raid everybody everybody goes all out for their DSC I'm curious now the disciple man that raid is a long one comparatively yes it is and I think that even though like there's a lot that's gonna go on in Last Wish as well I think that that's gonna be the really deciding moment yes I really 100%. do percent oh oh. That was that, a was miss. that a swing and a hit? It is on the top that right. Is a, yeah. Yeah, but they don't, they, luckily, they don't need it. But um, yeah, that was definitely a miss. That was definitely a swing and a miss. <clears throat> Merciless on Tanix is interesting. I never even like thought I would see it, that. It's working well though. That's the second yeah. team we've seen with that. Um, where are we at? Do we know the first two some of best? Or are we gonna wait to the end to calculate uh, those two? The two some of best. Uh, Aaron's team is still ahead. Okay, by I figured. About a, by about 40 seconds. 40 uh, seconds. Minute and a half, actually. A minute and a half, actually. Oh, a minute and uh, a half. I can't do math. Okay. Um, and then... And Snaz oh, wait, Snazzy and, and Remnants? I don't know if these times have been added up. Or no. No, they have. Okay. Yeah. yeah, they have. Yeah. Okay. 
Okay, so as, as I had guessed, there was a big catalyst. Mm -hmm. Oh wow! Yeah, there was a big gap on Crota. So there I was. did figure that it would keep them in first, but that's all going to change here if they can't get a really good 40, time for Val. Forty seconds is very, very like you can come back from forty seconds. One hundred percent. I mean, we've seen that forty seconds can be lost at an error code, at a wipe. There's so many different factors that can cause you to, to lose time. Yes. Some, you know, caused by the team and some, unfortunately, just out of people's hands. Yes. Just this raid, I will remind you, uh, Reminisce error coded and lost 53 seconds. They are down by a minute and a half, right? No, 40 seconds. They're down by 40 seconds. They'd be ahead. Wow, one, that's... One error code. One error code. One error code. They would be, they would be ahead. It's just that much. One that error code <laughs> and one unfortunate death at crota yeah that was that that yeah. little bit made 40 seconds happen yep and that was with a gold yeah a gold split they cooked the beginning they yeah. did absolutely so, where we are we at with time? time as well yeah where are we at with time one more time we got two minutes two minutes we have anybody else at the end seeing teams prepare for <clears throat> it looks like a lot of teams were preparing it looks like a lot of teams have just kind of i'm gonna grab water real quick yeah sounds like a lot of teams have just kind of chilled in the meantime everybody in chat just letting you guys know i'm wearing a mask because i'm sick and you know cb's next to me i i have like i have a cold so i'm just not trying to get him sick so i'm wearing a mask in here um but yes perry thank you so much for the raid i hope your stream was good everybody who's been hanging out and rocking with us on this day thank you thank you for being here thank you for supporting these events again for everybody who's wondering if you do exclamation point fund and you click that gofundme link you guys can actually donate to the prize pool right now to help these runners get paid out even bigger um when i started today i made sure i made, I made a vow at the last one i was said hey i'll take a portion of whatever the merch does um for the crow to drop that we just had and i'll throw it towards the event so we started off with a 500 dollars dono um guys again exclamation point fund help out these runners get this fund as big as possible man we want to see these guys get like a big payday for their participation yes we do we want to see a two on that prize pool yes that would be really cool um 30 seconds left 30 seconds and it seems like a lot of teams uh i think they, they're preparing for they, the next they're, one. they're preparing for the next one but this is i mean this is the one where in my opinion and and do we are we gonna have another cadgar here to kind of have like a um a date like a, a an order rank i guess of like first second third fourth in that Cadgar order because we did it for this one it was really really good um yes. but this was i mean man bow the disciple it's a very different raid compared to deep stone crypt yes it is whereas deep stone crypt is all about focusing on flying through encounters bow the disciple is kind of about just playing your game correctly and not going for too much i would agree and so I, I, while this is happening, it's going to be really interesting seeing, you know, how I would say teams balance speed and safety. Yes. I feel like we've seen twice now where possibly going fast has gotten the better of some teams. We've seen it, unfortunately, with the suppressor incident with Tanix. We've seen it with the Oversoul with Crota. I mean, there is a lot going on with Val. So I think teams are really, especially with this one, some of the teams that are ahead really have to find that balance between speed and making sure you don't wipe because yes. one wipe in both of these raids or so far with deep stone and crota has been the difference between first and you know third yes yes it has been and you know at the end of the day all of these competitors are very very good at the game or else they wouldn't be here but at the same time man it's just you want to play the turtle in the hair game but sometimes you have to just be the better hair and that's pretty much it i would agree <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna use the bathroom real quick Sounds right before we good. get started. But yeah, we should have at least what another five minutes before team start, or what's what's our time before? Another four minutes, yeah. Another four minutes. So far, Kronos MJ, has this gone kind of the way you expected? Did you expect to see kind of some of these like really close finishes here with um with you know Tanix with some of these wipes, like determ one wipe determining the result, or has this kind of been what you guys expected? Uh Tanix, uh DSC kind of went kind of went how I was like expecting it uh but crota was actually very surprising seeing Same. how many teams like wiped on 
or did not. I'm sorry. I was really surprised seeing how many teams didn't one phase ear you. Yeah, That's ear, really that was me. that was the biggest standout for me too. I was really expecting her just to go down, but I feel like almost every team besides really Aaron's team at least once had to two phase ear you. Yeah. That's what really got me. Um, Crota, I was more uh, surprised to see one phases than I wasn't. Gotcha. To be honest, because I know how inconsistent that is. Just because it's so based off of ads being near you and him not moving away from the grapple point and your melee connecting three things that are just have to go right that are inconsistent. To, like, yeah. So seeing you know what we saw like four yeah um like that actually cleared as well that was definitely surprising to me okay so um, now pivoting to val so what would you expect here in terms like of some of the um, places to trip people up i mean there's a lot going on here but if you had to guess for the first thing for first rate we we found that it was ear you what would be the ear you of val if there was going to be something it's either going to be um first or third okay uh, first because there's so many things that you can do to speed it up but with only three people in the fire team it's definitely a challenge to implement those and not wipe to something as simple as the yellow bars shooting the obelisk yeah um I mean, that's what gets people like we've seen because vows should have been um, past turnies before and first encounter is usually a wipe spot because people, you know, they're trying to speed it up with all this fancy stuff and neglect the basic mechanics of the encounter and then wipe to them. Gotcha. Um, so, and then for and third? And then for third encounter, I mean, third encounter just has so many, like, intricacies that even doing it normally, you could still wipe if you uh, haven't practiced it enough. Gotcha. So we'll have our eyes out on the first and third encounter, and I'm going to be excited to see if we have a surprise, maybe third thing that ends up being what trips people up. It seemed like when I asked about Bridge, or excuse me, when I asked about Crota at the beginning, we didn't really bring up your Ute. So I'm wondering if there'll be anything else that's a surprise that maybe people might struggle with. But I guess we'll see yeah. here in about what? A minute? About a minute. And mm. before that minute comes up, the tourney standings I just sent to y'all, and they're perfect. updated. Perfect, perfect, perfect. All right, guys, we're going to be putting the standings up right now. So you guys can Is see that minute, if it's at a minute chronos make sure to ping yeah i'll ping. Oh, we're and we re timed reminiscence run too with the error code right. gotcha okay. that's fair so we're seeing right here that these are basically the different teams that so rem's team placed sixth on the first one then they placed first on the second one so that's a huge climb a 10 minute time save in between yep and um the team that placed first on the uh first one on crota placed fourth on the second one losing about two two ish minute a little under two minutes yep and, and as crazy as it is both of those were really just the difference in an one unfortunate scenario yes being the difference between sixth place and first place now team Monch is really consistent really consistent yes and we're seeing just in general another team uh, i don't know how to actually say this but uh we'll just say stas Right, <laughs> and, and Yastas, or and, I don't, I don't want to say that. That's fair. Yeah. We'll, we'll just just go with it. But we but, got we got fourth and then second. Yeah, there. So it really is like not always just about just getting first each time because as you can see, getting a first and then the other time having a sixth place does not equal first. Yeah. So, Countdown's uh, starting. The oh, countdown is starting. All right, Two. get ready. One, go, go, go. go. Stream delay. Woo! Oh, oh, they're oh. going. <laughs> Wait, they actually they actually made it a point for stream delay. They just they just sent it. I'll let you guys go first. All right. We are so seeing here we go. Already. Starting off, bake oh, Sabathun, and then we are off. Second, that oh, door is. Whose audio do we have better. right now? We have Grimson all four. All four. Yeah, okay, so here we go. All right, right in the action here. Oh, wait, that's so bad. So this first part will really just be, you know, just really go, go, go. Yes, this first part, guys, you're going to find everybody in chat that this first part is kind of, uh, 
it's kind of the longest. It's just it's, it's yeah, very long. It, it, it is, and it's it's always kind of been the one part of the raid for me that does just kind of fall <laughs> below the, the rest, unfortunately. But um, this will speed up very soon. Also, I think maybe glitched audio for one of their streams. It's narwhals. It was narwhal stream. Okay, I was like, oh yeah. my god. <laughs> Hey, as long as the stream's up, that's all as that matters. As long as it's up, dude. <laughs> that is all that matters. We've had the we've had the picture, the picture perfect Denzel stream. Let's uh, yep, Denzel <laughs> Denzel stream is still doing yep. picture perfect. There we go. It will be a photo finish once again. Narwhals. And here we go. We already see our first little bit yes. of taken to the skies. <laughs> Messing around with some sparrow flying tech. Yep. <laughs> Just saving some time, having some fun. No, it's funny because if, if Narwhal has the crunch, if, if Denzel has the uh, the PowerPoint type of stream video, Narwhal's got the crunchy audio. What what happens when they combine? What does that make? Ultimate destruction. I, I think it makes like a spirit bomb. It makes bomb. for a first place it makes, finish. It makes a spirit bomb. A stream, a stream that doesn't get unmuted. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, or that. All right, so what we're seeing here really, guys, right now is, I mean, it doesn't even really take commentating. Just they're just killing things as fast as they can. They're, they're really just doing the encounter. This this, this part is yeah. the uh, there's there's going to be nothing too pretty here. They're just they're just killing ads and um, advancing the payload. If you guys play Overwatch, then um, yeah, you'll be pretty familiar with this. Yeah. It's a part of the raid. It's a part of the raid. This is uh, this is definitely a part of the raid. <laughs> But hopefully, towards the end of barge, right around the it's sixth really payload, launch, guys. you'll see a few teams start to head towards that skip. So that's something to look forward to. Yeah. <laughs> we are eagerly awaiting we for that to come. Very <laughs> eagerly awaiting. <laughs> As we see some eagers come. So fun. All right. <clears throat> and it is what it is. But at least after this entrance, we have like. This raid might have the most skips out of all the raids here. Really? So three or four of them, yeah. <laughs> I mean, me personally, Barge, this might be my favorite encounter. I mean, I mean, come on. This oh, this might be the best raid encounter. This is, this is, this is, out of everything that's ever been made. This is brilliant. This one has just a little bit of everything. You really, you really have just about everything here. You got, you know, you got, you know, the communication aspect, you got tons of mechanics. You have challenging enemies. Um, yes. You know, it, it, it really takes everything going right for this one to work. <laughs> you can, yeah, you can you can say there's a little bit of everything for everybody. You can definitely say that. All right, things should get interesting here in just a moment, though. <laughs> I don't have throws. I don't have throws. Now. It, it really is yeah, funny seeing yeah, people like exactly. try to like make themselves not bored doing this. <laughs> like uh, you can just see them like doing like skates back and forth. But it just yeah. like ugh. yeah. Well, at the end of the day, no matter what, if you if you showed this to a Victorian child, they would probably explode. So, they probably would. You know what? At the end of the day, at least we have that. Yeah. What's funny is just looking at some of those streams, you can see like people making the most like as many optimizations as you can with something so time locked. Like Rem running a uh, uh, Verity's brow with into the light, so his nade almost one shots the abomination, yeah, and then when he spawned. body shots it. <laughs> yeah. Just just little things like that to try to make it just a little bit faster, <laughs> even though it's not gonna. Yeah. faster than like six minutes no 100 percent. That, that is so slow to, too. To, to go off of what you just said like they're gonna do anything to keep the time like feeling like it's going faster but right when you had like a break in your sentence somebody said hey did you see ice spice's halloween costume <laughs> <laughs> i guess there's time to there's you know, like, discuss like time other topics anything, with, you know like right now you know there's <laughs> It's the time. This is the time to grab a snack. This is the time. Yeah. Do you know? You know? See what you missed? Maybe you know online. And I guess, I guess ice spice. I guess costumes. ice spice, dude. There you go. I guess ice spice. There, there, there you go. That. Especially, especially as the bar just moving. Like when there's literally nothing to do. Like I would totally just be sitting on the. That's bar wild. They are scrolling right through Twitter scrolling during through Twitter. during the raid. <laughs> that, if that's not telling, then I don't know what is. Oh, top team right there setting up for skip. Oh, yeah, it should 
kick off now, so everybody close the Ice Spice so, Twitter so, account. So, Let's so, get going here. So he touches the door, right? <laughs> so he touches the door just to, like, what, get it to proc early? Like, explain the skip part right here. Yeah, so they all have to go hit that door, mm -hmm. otherwise you'll soft lock. So what they're doing is they're tricking the game into thinking that all three of them are there. And you'll see Pyjaro there kind of in the far screen. Yeah. He's going to go down to first and cap, and he's going to pull them right after. Oh, nice. So, so right yeah. after they finish this, it'll just go straight to first encounter. Well, at least so that's, right after. Very that's cool something. Yeah. yeah. I do mm -hmm. like that part. It's just very rough that it takes five minutes to get to it. Yes. <laughs> man. I'm right there with you, man. <laughs> that's the highlight of this, though. Yes. <laughs> Hey, at I least. think it feels great for the runners though. It's a it's a good six minutes off, you know. Yeah. Well, combined with the like actual resting period, it's more like what eleven. Oh yeah. <laughs> True. Yeah. So they get they get a nice good reset. Yeah. So maybe what this one to be in eventually we'll figure out a payloadless kind of like yeah, carpetless, kind of like you know the just the one area where you just kind of have to stand and wait. But I would love to yeah. see one day them break this. I really Dude, would. If they broke payload, if I would turn into like an S tier raid immediately, it would be yep. it would be awesome. Uh -huh. I mean, the thing is, the rest of this raid is so good, man. The rest of this raid, I would actually argue, in terms of just maybe not low man strats, but in terms of pure encounter, is just like it's so good. Like I don't I don't think there's like any other raid besides maybe Wish and DSC that holds that in Destiny Two for me, like being this consistently good per encounter. Other than Arge. Uh, <laughs> I'm a little biased to Spire. I like but I, well, but I do agree. It, sorry. I do agree. I do agree. Wait, I do agree wait, with what you said. Though. Chat. I do agree chat, with what you CB said. Chat, CB didn't hear me. I said in <laughs> Destiny 2. Where is oh, Spire? Oh, no. Oh. I don't know what raid you're talking about, man. That's true. I forgot. That was uh, that was in the last game. That was in the last game. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, he is. So it's going to be interesting to see what weapons are used here because I'm seeing that on two different POVs right now. We're seeing Banner of War on the bottom left, and then we're seeing a little bit more of a traditional trace on the bottom right. <clears throat> Excuse me. We're also seeing, so in this one, every team, oh, not every team, but quite a few teams are at the exact same spot. Yep. So I'm trying to see like who can actually pull an edge over here. I, it's going to be hard to tell. Until this encounter is really done, you don't really... It's hard to tell a gauge because nothing really progresses other than one totem at a time gets cleansed. Right, but as MJ was saying earlier, this is the first potential block for some teams that could, you know, cause some separation. And yes. once again, since Evan wasn't there for that, MJ, do you want to rewalk Evan and then everybody else just through what can go wrong here that could cause there to be some separation? Uh, so with this encounter... It's it's not going to be like the comp the the complex things that get you with it. It's going to be the basics. Like you're going to wipe here because you like ignored oh, speak, shield guys. Speaking of it, it just happened it just in happened. real time. Yeah. Continue. I didn't mean yeah. to cut you exactly. off. It just happened because you ignored shield guys or you um, like let maybe like a champion was left alive and someone wasn't expecting it and they just die to it. There, it, it's going to be something as simple as dying to ads or neglecting neglecting the ads that are going to uh, wipe you here, not the actual, like, moving around quickly. Yeah. Gotcha, so it sounds like, once again, a juggle between trying to be fast, but not being too fast, where you basically slip up and forget something and wipe your team. Right. Yep, like, Rem, right there, I knew it was gonna happen, he, he missed his grenade and then swiped into a bunch of screeps and died. Yep, Ugh. and that's just from trying to be really fast on the screen, or trying to be really fast on the chieftains. And so you guys might notice that they're using Prometheus Lens a lot. I believe that's just for totems, right? Shooting the totems very fast. Yeah, I'm guessing just because it has the AoE thing, it, it allows it to be good ad clear on top of shooting the... Uh, shooting the symbols, shooting yeah. The, yeah, right. obelisk, but I'm not entirely sure as to why Prometheus is the go-to. I will say that that's been something that's been super entertaining with a lot of these tournaments, though. It, there always seems to be just a couple random weapons that you wouldn't expect that just, you know, get thrown out here. Yeah. Like Warden's Law. Yep, yeah. like Warden's Law. Warden's Law, <laughs> man. It was like, it was so cool to see it, but I was, I was very, like, I was very confused, like, why? So, come on, Rem. Uh, don't know if I'll yeah. his last, I'll check hands. And here it looks like a lot of teams are just now getting into the Oh. <clears throat> and so, and so fun fact for anybody at home, um, with these totems, 
you'll know which is the correct totem without even having to shoot a symbol yet. Because the totems, if you shoot a symbol, they'll if, if you shoot the, the correct symbol, but it's on the wrong side, the whole totem will glow orange. But if you shoot the correct symbol on the correct side, only that symbol will, will glow orange. So you'll know exactly which totem to go to every time. It's little details like that that make a huge difference in just getting your raid knowledge up. I think you made a video about that, didn't you? I made a little short about it, I do, yeah. I do remember yeah. that, Lev enough. I think that showed up on the TikTok as well. Yeah. I do remember that. <laughs> but so far, it seems like outside of what you were describing, pretty standard, just, you know, doing the encounter. Just be fast. Yeah, just being fast. I'm be doing, very fast and keep on top of your ads. Yeah, we don't see anybody doing any clipping. I mean, we don't I'm, see any of that. It's really just... Right, just be fast here. And, and MJ is 100% correct on making sure that ads have to stay dead because, man, they can shoot those totems, and if you get, like, a big group of them shooting a totem at once, it's over quick. Like, they, they do a lot of damage to those totems very quickly. Yes, they do. And so we'll see here. I mean, right now... Even though we had one death from uh, Reminiscence side, they do seem to still be pacing decently well. Um, we've seen only one wipe, so so far it seems like most teams are are doing okay here. They should be they should be mostly cooking. Yeah, yeah. that was probably a pretty heavily practiced raid, just because the raid itself is so long and draining that people are like, okay, we need to make sure that we right. can get through it. Right. And we're seeing right now, Rem needs to get this symbol. Yeah, he... Nice. They did get it. They're they got good. it. They're good there. And I believe and that is through. it. That they're is through. it. So yeah. unless there's any other team, we'll double check real quick. That may be first That's place. That's first place right now. Yeah. What's cool. crazy is if you look at Rem's time, it's 12:40, like five. And they're just getting done with second first encounter. Yeah, just getting done with first encounter. Yes, yeah. that's true. That's just... Do we once again know? Uh, is he <laughs> is he running against his best times? Because if so, they are once again. Yeah, they cooking. had a gold. They had a, a gold on barge. Gold at barge, and they're forty two ahead. If this is on PB pace, this would be pretty interesting. I wish that I knew if he's running it against is. his best it, it splits. Is, it yeah, is. they're definitely that's doing their best times. So just if they stream best. practice. Yeah. So if he is being forty two ahead in a race. I just can't stress how crazy that is. It is actually. I, really I'm good. serious. Like that's, that's insane. I'm excited to see uh, solo caretaker himself and and Rem in this encounter. So <laughs> is there is is yeah. there some big skips here at caretaker that we should be looking forward to? Ah uh, yes, yeah. Right at the end of caretaker, you might see someone leave. So they'll two man final stand, and then you'll have a guy pulled to the next encounter. Gotcha. But, it's not till the very end, so. so okay. Outside of that, pretty standard. Pretty standard, yeah. And it looks like we have another team here on Caretaker. Okay, team, so team. who? Oh yeah, we do. Wait, top left, Evan. It was it's top left. So, okay, Aaron, Aaron as well. So Aaron we have Rem. the double first place. Aaron and Rem. Here we go. This is the story. This is going to be the story between. Will it be Aaron or Rem's team, or will a third team maybe break out and maybe come back? That's going to be what we're looking out for here. Are we going to see a repeat winner for the first time? Or will we see a new winner? Time to find out, man. I mean, this this part is also, I believe right now, they're doing the more, so are they doing the, the safer strat where they have double stunning and, uh, and instead of two people running? Or are they running one person in there? Uh, who are you talking about? Uh, either, either Rem or Aaron. Uh, Rem, it looked like they just had dabs do all the running. Okay, um, so they, they did a little bit of the safer strat then. Uh, well, no, 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 they had dabs while they're running, but they didn't do any stuns. Okay. Um, oh, because, no like, stuns, they're, they're yeah. Those two are so consistent. Okay, I think dabs and use might be running. They're just so consistent with um, symbols just because, like I said, call them Mr. Solo Caretaker himself. Right. You know, they just live in that encounter, so yep. they're, That's they're fair. fairly and, confident with it. And so with and that being damage. said right now, damage was fantastic, but on top of that, I mean, we still have, as long as Reminisce does kind of stay on this pace, they still should finish first here. Yeah. Oh man, yeah, no, they're, they're cooking, because last night when I was running my low mans, I was told that there's a way where you can send two people into the symbol room back and forth while one person solo stuns. So you have to get yeah. both sides of it. It's spicy. It yeah, is a little spicy. Done with symbols. That's what they just did. They they had Dabs and Easy run on second floor. And Love it. Uh, 
they just could, Rem just sat on the obelisk and shot the symbols. That's just. I mean, they they just know this raid so they know the raid like the back of their hand. This yep. encounter especially. Yes, they do. I mean, solo caretaker is a very special. It's one, right? so cool. It is. I mean, all the way down from when you know, uh, what I mean, Vendetta from way back in the day to now. I mean, where it's progressed has been been a pretty cool journey for caretaker. One hundred percent. It really has. And if you get, they're gonna get a two floor. Yes, they, they are. With three man two floor three guys. Three man two floor. This do they is, skip? And, and I think Rem is gonna go for the skip. He just put mountain top on. All yeah. right, so we should see you know some cool tech here. Oh, oh. yeah. He's going for it. Yes, is there already is. a final stand? <laughs> so. Damage is starting. And we see Mountaintop on, as you mentioned, and he is just telling the caretaker, I will see <laughs> you later. <laughs> I mean, that is what we got going on, and let's see where this goes. He's going to... Uh, I'm, I'm going back. I'm wait, going back. wait. Going he back. said he's going back. Really Are they worried about damage? It must be. I That's the only are. thing I can think of. Yeah. Yeah. We just want to play it safe. Yeah. I mean, after losing a first place to one wipe, can you really blame them? I mean, just being yeah, I honest. I, I don't blame them Can at all. you blame them? Once again on their splits, I want to once again bring up, they have golden again, and they are now a minute and a half off their PB. A minute 32 Not if you look at Reminis' And we're seeing Aaron is already yeah. on... I wish we could see Aaron splits too. as well. This is insane to be this far ahead. Two different golds as well. Two different gold. Wait, what? They're, they're balling out. They hit two yeah, different gold golds on this? As well. Yeah, they're, they're balling out. Like, really. Like, this is going to be, I think, a really a, a battle of two titans here. This so is let's uh, let's see how this continues to go. I mean, we already yeah. had talked about, uh, MJ had mentioned, third one is the other one that can really stump a team. So, so far, they've handled the first two encounters very well. And look at that. I'm very excited to see if third changes that. And as Beautiful you mentioned, Evan, here right we go. Here. They, are, they are cooking. It's my goat. Dude, Rem is locked in. I Look mean, you can this. see that is Look the, at that's this. the face of somebody who's locked in. That is, that is, yeah, that's, <laughs> Rem's that's locked. Face. That is the my, my, my man, my man is locked. I mean, that, that is, is that is the face of somebody who's locked. That is a, that, that is some beautiful <laughs> destiny being played right there. <laughs> Look at this, man. They're already. Oh dude, my god. Dude, just zero emotion. Exhibition I mean, already in the encounter. <laughs> dude, what zero a emotion. what a goat, man. I mean, uh, no talk, no nothing, all business. I well, love it. Let's uh let's go full screen on Rem then, because oh, it looks like they're about to start. I mean, dude, he just closed the yeah, Ice Spice no account real, and locked in. Let's go, man. I'll call out. I'll call out if shit. Oh my god. No That's reaction at all. Stone dude, cold that, killer, that right man there. Is all business, and I love it. That's why he's oh. the goat. No air code so far, so everyone's loaded in just fine. Nice. Right. Dude, right. the double golds, the double golds on this and, and the being this far ahead, it is insane. It is. They're about I mean, to PB. He, I, mean, but, 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 I mean, they're about to shatter. They're the about PB to shatter a they're, PB. They're two minutes and 22 seconds ahead. I just, like I said, in a race, usually, I mean, PBs can happen, but a lot of times there's a lot of balance between trying to go fast and trying to be safe. Um, so to be this far ahead, I mean, they are just going completely YOLO, I don't care. We either are winning this or we're not. Besides the, the play safe caretaker, they did play that encounter safe at the end. 100%. It would be really cool to see a god run when they needed the god run. I would agree. And I mean, we're going to see that. So uh, MJ, Kronos, anything here that you also want to you mention outside of like, you know, the wiping that could happen? Like what is really going on here that maybe people should be aware of? Like some of the harder pieces of this to make sure that this goes well it's uh, i mean no this this is a pretty cut and dry encounter yeah. uh it's just here you go just do it just like ex just it's execution it. here you go it's a beautiful thing just do it <laughs> the, that's really what this rate is i, just I will say it. a couple things though here from like at least doing the the three man yesterday and, yeah. and in the past it's, it's a lot of um because basically the lockout timers are there you kind of have to wait by the doors and the, and the game will automatically open doors so there is a little bit of juggling with the relics there's a little bit of that like you got to be pretty efficient with them but the taken relic is really going to carry a lot of this room in the next room because you can just spam that grenade button with it it's and strong. it'll and it'll it'll just take over yeah. yes it will and fun fact for those who may have not known this but when you kill all the glyph keepers in a room your pervading darkness actually goes away so the faster you are the more rewarded you get at this encounter. So as long as they kill these glyph keepers, and it looks like they're about yeah. to. 
they're playing it safe, smart. Yes, smart, they are. Get the cleanse. Yep. But yes, they, if they killed the glyph keepers before all that happened, then they were chilling. And so we didn't get a chance to check, but Aaron was doing decently on caretaker. Yes. Are they also here? Let's take a peek. They are. They are so this is still wait. They're actually at the exact that's same why I was like, yeah, right they've now. they've made up a little bit of time here. So this is. Um, I mean, this is gonna come down to the this, wire here. This might be a PB <laughs> off for all we're, you know, for all we know. Yes, it is. So here we go. I mean, this is gonna be a telling of, I think, Rook. I have who, been, who does this better? I have been requested by a mod to explain forbearance here. Shoot floor, <laughs> things explode. Yeah, just, you know, close your eyes and click the button. That's pretty much Close your eyes, right? click the button, That's hit pretty, reload every pretty, once in a while. Pretty much forbearance. I heard that you guys wanted to like have some idea what was going on here. Um, I think I'm like the only one who like kind of knows. It's, mm -hmm. um, yeah, why not take the floor? So a lot of what's going to be happening is you might see a lot of people uh, killing themselves in the or just uh, dying to yeah, you, right as you said it. Uh huh. Yeah, curb the. Uh, there's a timer whenever you drop stuff. Uh, I can't remember the name, but it'll there's a timer and it's yeah. about 30 seconds. So what you'll see is certain people with certain relics will end up dropping them shooting themselves with something to kill themselves and then they will um, just basically reset so up. they can repeat yeah so you'll see a lot of that uh, especially in this next coming up room and then there will also be in this next room a, a skip coming up and that player will drop their relic early on is that person going to be skipping to get to rolk for those that yes. are wondering yeah so it should yeah. be the shield player should be the one doing it if i remember crazy. correctly um and then their shield player is going to drop uh, further back, and then they're just going to have to kill the glyph keepers really quickly. Well, we should be seeing that very, very soon here, as I mean, we are pretty much at the end of third encounter. So pretty, yeah, we're, Justin, we are... Looks like he, it looks like Rem just finished. They did they just. They did, yep. As long as they get the banks in, watch out for here the screams. Yep, play it safe. Go. Play it safe. I'm not going to lie. Time to reset, grab the relics, everybody have a nice little time over to Rolk. But the thing is, even with what is still going to be uh, a little, just a little bit of a time loss between those two, but even still with this unbelievably good PB by yeah. Rem, we are seeing Aaron is just right behind them. It's very close. This is this, like, this, this is... is this is not a 40 second difference. Right, it's not. And so I think what's going to, you know, be important here, so I'm going to bring it up for MJ and Kronos. I think this could be one that comes down to who's got better DPS. So what are we going to be seeing here for Rolk? Um, Verities. Yeah, it's going to be Verities. Going to be they, Verities. They've got three Warlocks. How how what? comfy is it? For those that it's don't know. It's kind of tight now, especially it's... with the galley nerf. That's mm -hmm. what I thought. That's because that's what yeah. I wanted you to bring up for those that might not be familiar. I think this could come down to who, you know, unfortunately may or may not, you know, bake Rolk here. No, 100%. I haven't looked at um, Aaron's team, but there is the possibility of some people trying to do a Strand Titan thing yeah. by just leaving up Shadow Thrall, but that would be a very, uh, that would be very interesting to see. Yes, it would. So this is, this is, uh, reminiscence and snazzies and newsies. This is theirs to lose here. So yes. they, they've they already started. Uh, Aaron is very close though, so they could make up a little bit of time here on symbols. But overall, I think one, you know, really good solid DPS phase, and I think this should be theirs. Yes, absolutely. I mean, uh, so there's a there's a mod from this raid. I think it's called, what is it, Into the Light? Is that the one? The light. I yeah. believe so. It's yes. The, that's the so one. Into the Light basically it buffs your grenades like crazy. And so these guys, I mean, dude, if they have all of the armor on, they stack it, Starfire Protocol. Now, of course, Galahorn is uh, is not as good as it used to be, but even then, that Into the Light mod, those nades, all those things coming together, you can cook roll pretty well. It, it's, it's, he can be cooked, but I do think that especially with all the pressure here, with yes. two teams that both have one first place, I'm expecting to see... I, I, it might not be as easy as it sounds it, it, it with all the pressure. It definitely will not be. With, but with, you're seeing, you're seeing Rem yeah. is using um, sun bracers as well. So I mean, we're probably going to see some shadow thrall get, get snapped. Yes, we will. And then yeah. some sun sun bracers just go crazy. Yep, and they don't have to worry about any curse thrall finisher bugs here. So no. it should be comfy if they want to finish enemies. No. Like, <laughs> but yes, things things in general should be, I think, standard here until Rolk. Right. I think Rolk is going to be the real, um, you know. 
uh, telling of, of a, a real and, deciding and factor. By the exactly. way, chat again because I saw a couple people put in the command exclamation point fund. Yep, on both sides. Ex exclamation point fund. Exclamation point fund, everybody. And that's the way that you can donate to the prize pool for these runners. I will type it in on both sides, guys. I will type it in on both. Perfect. All right, here we go. I learned that skip did, this morning. So did, did he just switch his um his fragments like that to be safe to not have anything happen, or did he just not have it set up there? I couldn't even tell because it was so quick. I didn't see what he did. I think what we're gonna do just for this one, I'm just gonna I'm gonna go duo cam because these two are oh, like 100. percent This well, is this is this is first place first first place right here. Yes. This is this is what we came here to see. This moment right here. This is what the races are all about. Music's so good, too. <laughs> Here we go. All right, let's see it. All right. All right. This is theirs to lose. That's a take and help them. I believe. I believe. I believe in the Justin one phase. All right. And keep in mind, remember, guys. Even if, even if Reminis' team wins here, if this is close enough, they could still technically be in second because it's a 40 second gap. So it's going to be interesting to see if they do finish how this goes. Send him over here, send him over here, send him over here. Let me know when you guys are ready. He's dashing, Rem, watch out, watch out, watch out. Get his aggro, get his aggro. I'm trying. I got it. Are you guys ready? It looks like on the Who's right side, we're going to see and Rem's well, POV. No, he's going to be the one encircling oh, Volk. TP'd. So he's going to try and trap Volk and keep him on him. Gotcha. So stump nades go, 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 go. on him. Yeah. Yeah. All right, here we go. Full, full camp. Here we go, guys. Oh, about to be damaged. Here we, here we go. And here we go. Oh, throw, Let's throw. see it. Yeah, okay, once again, back Hot to the swapping. slugging. Okay. And he's being oh, baked he, so he, far. He no, did no, move, no, though. He did no, move. No, so he didn't, wasn't yeah, able to keep him still, there. He's, still he, close he's in a good there. spot. Yep. Uh, so far, I'd say a very, very good start. The cook is it, real. It is. It's slowing down just a little bit. But here we go. Let's see how they continue. I don't think that I don't they're know, they're Evan. I, I really, I really don't think so. I, I don't think so. They maybe, 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 maybe. maybe. Oh what? Oh my, oh my gosh. gosh! That is what. Final that stand. Was, that was it's so gonna be close. close. It's it is gonna be close. because they're out of ammo. At least, at least Remus. Here we go. Let's see how this goes. I mean, he's just, he's just got a tractor span. That's all he can do. Oh, no, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, Evan. No! They, they, oh, no. I don't know. <sighs> they committed too hard. They committed too hard. They committed to it. They gave Where's everything they had. This, guys, this is exactly what happened with Crota. And let's see. And here we go. And here we go. Final stand for Aaron's team. Another final stand. They have ammo. They have ammo. And they have they ammo. ammo. They took it slower oh and they made God. sure they had ammo. Oh my gosh. And that is a GG. That is that, a, that's GG. a GG. Yeah. And that is two first places for Aaron's team. Oh Aaron. my oh. lord. The, wow. the second time that their first place has come after a reminisce snazzy wipe. Yes. Unreal. Unreal. Oh and this, this right is there. what racing is all about. Remember when we said it's not the turtle and the hair, it's the hair and the hair? Well, the hair just won over the hair right there. It really did. Oh, but I mean, I, I, right, maybe, maybe. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, you can tell though, they really made sure they had ammo. They weren't the fastest, but they did it first. Yes, they You were. don't always have to be the fastest to be first. They were, They. I mean, oh, man, the thing is, I mean, I, I'd be curious if that was their best as well. If that was it, their it, best. It would be nice to know. Wow. I mean, if they would have gotten that one phase, they would have uh, reminisced this team I'm mentioning. Uh, they would have PB'd by at least two and a half minutes. R1, yes. R1. They were, I mean, they were they were going crazy. They were playing out of their minds. Um, and unfortunately R1, 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 now, squares, it's squares. so hard to bounce back after okay, something like this. And and we saw last time after they had the heartbreak and Crota wipe, they ended up getting sixth. Six. So it's going to be interesting to see here. Are they able to bounce back and still get second and essentially keep themselves in this race? Yes, this is important. I, I think that ultimately if they don't get second here, it's going to be very hard to keep up with Aaron. 
So Aaron has two first places now. Rem could, I mean, Rem is still going to be right there for second, but man, that hurts. That death is just so, so unfortunate. So just to recap for those that are just joining us at home, but um, with Crota, they had a very, very close Crota one phase. Unfortunately, they lost Oversoul and they unfortunately wiped. And it was the oh, difference between them getting first place and sixth place. This time we had something very similar with them losing ammo here. And um, unfortunately, we're seeing just how much, you know, one wipe can de decide a tournament. Yeah. yeah. It's switching. This is oh. double. This is double. Team, uh. Team Monkey Kings. Team Monkey Kings <laughs> are, are right <laughs> now up two. What a name. <laughs> yeah. Um, two, what is our uh, did not finish two, countdown at as well? Just so I can know. We got 13 minutes. It looks like Viol's on Rolk too. All right. So we have 13 minutes. Damage. All right. Yeah. Oh, we have a team on damage. We have a team on damage. Yes, we do. So they might not even snag second here, Evan. Um, with that being said, guys, for those who might not know how this works, after a team finishes, everybody else has 15 minutes to finish to place a time. If not, they get a second default now. do not finish time. Um, and all four of the sum of best from each of the raids are going to be added, and the w the winner will have the lowest sum of best. So this is very much not over. Yeah. Which but, team is is right there, by the way, guys? Yeah, who at damage? Where? Uh, it should be Veal. Veal. Veal and Reminis. Veal. Okay. Let me just close this one and Let's see if we and can Nazi find Veal. Can't forget Nazi. Okay. Oh, well, oh. Okay. So we do. Oh, this is close. This so this is actually very close. Yeah, between these two and in uh in Reminis, this is going to be interesting who ends up getting second here. Bro, it was it was that close just from the just when, from the one final stand, unfortunate right. little it, bit of health. And, and I think both of us had assumed they were gonna need to two phase. So the fact that they were able to bake and get to that one, they gave it everything. Everything they had and they, to it, get to that final stand. And you stand. know, like they kind of they had to. They, they did. No, they, they did. They, they did. didn't even yeah. They would have have not gotten first if they if they but maybe they would have gotten a guaranteed second. They would have got a guaranteed now, second. Let's see what it ends up being. We will have to see. I mean, dude. We have a Veal, couple slides. Veal is cooking right now. Yes, we do. And I believe. Who is our bottom right perspective, just so we can see as well? Uh, and Nazi as well. Nazi. Nice. Nazi and Veal Dawnblade. are both cooking. Dawnblade they is. We do have a Dawnblade out. And it looks like they're oh, going they're for using a... the, that helmet. What is that even called? Oh, um, Chorus? Don Chorus is on. Yeah, I got Don Chorus on. That's interesting. All right, can we see Reminis as well? They were also close yes. to a phase. They're doing damage. And they're actually right now. starting right now, so let's see how this goes. They have a really good start. Yeah, this looks like a much better kill than the last no, one. No, no, no. Yeah, because um, it was, was almost dead. Because it, it was that teleport, right, right? That really changed it forward. on that first yeah. one. Right? I wouldn't. Or no, or, or is that, yeah, is that my not? Guess, my guess is the uh, is the two guys doing damage got hit by uh, a beam and just lost yeah. uh, their ability to proc into the light. It looks like they're about to do the same thing here. It, yeah, all that we have here. The only difference is, is he's keeping his super. That I can tell yeah. so far. That's the only difference because last oh. time he only had tractor. And uh, refresh, 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 refresh. This, this is seeming very They're reminiscent of the last They're one. Refreshing ammo. This is reminiscent. Come on! Of, I'm, I'm nervous. Okay, you just. Oh, that's a bait. They, they, yeah, they, they got it. They got it. They got it. They got it. Okay, good, 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 good. And I think that is second. So nicely done, but man, that hurts. Oh, man. So off of just that one wipe, they unfortunately lost five minutes in 41 yeah. seconds. Yeah, Rolk is a Rolk is a long and encounter. Five minutes and forty-one seconds on one wipe. That's a this lot is a of time one to lose time on. It, it is because Rolk. what is that? That means that the uh, um, the difference between them and Aaron's team is what? I mean, it has to be at least. I mean, I'll let you guys wait to tell me, but it's got to be multiple minutes. Uh, five minutes, seventeen seconds. Oh, oh my two. goodness, that is that is that is brutal. Like that is yes. Like they they will almost need like a colossal meltdown from Aaron's team on last wish for it yeah. to be possible. I, I, oh, that is just. I mean, it, it. You know what? At the end of the day, they can do it. It's still oh, not out of the realm oh, of possibility. Oh, one hundred percent. One hundred percent. They can absolutely do it, man. But that is just. Yeah. But we're seeing it's here. It's a hard one to come back from. 
Yeah, and you can't doubt them. They've been on PB pace for the last two raids. So yeah, regardless of, of their list. placing, they are playing insane. Like yes, they've yeah. had some some really unfortunate incidents, but you're 100 percent right. I mean, I think there were three golds and they were two and a half minutes ahead going into Rolk. That's insane um, for a race. Yes, but unfortunately, that is what comes with going fast. Yes, that really is part of it. Um, in any speed run. And now there's a bit of strategy here because now that team has to do all the fast strats. They do. Yes. They got to come out. Where Aaron's team can afford to do some more easier strats. Exactly. More consistent. That's, that's exactly what I was going to say because if I was Aaron's team at this time, it would be more about just making sure we don't die and a lot less of, let me make sure we bake everything. Yes. Yeah. Good. We'll probably start to see a few more rokes come in now too. Yes. Yeah, so while we're watching this, I mean, once again, I mean, really with this, as crazy it was, because we had predicted either first and third encounter, which ended up not being accurate. All it ended up being in terms of for this race was really just roll damage. Mm -hmm. So I, I, I guess, MJ, we kind of, I was like, I, said, I hope it ends up being something else. This one ended up being roll damage. Yeah. Let's start t talking about some of the potential things that could make the difference in Last Wish. What are some of the things that we should be looking for in terms of some big moments that could cause some teams a lot of time? Big moments are going to be Shuro. Shuro is going to be the absolute killer. Is and, it just uh, because of the tech with the with the plate? The tech with the plate saves a lot of time, and you'll see a lot of time is saved on Wish just from Shuro. Right. How well teams optimize, how uh, active they are, proactive with their ad clear. Yeah. Because there's, it's not as punishing as I would say it was with Val. You know, you have your relic, you can kind of go to your side, do your yeah. thing. Shuro, it's just you either kill the ad or you don't you lose time sure would be a pretty brutal wipe at the end though right yeah. that would be one oh, you definitely God. wouldn't want to another wipe one on for yeah you're not that. you're not coming back mm -hmm. from a yeah. from a sure wipe well maybe to be fair maybe aaron's team might have the gap but it wouldn't be comfy it, it would, not would not be a comfy, comfy. it would not be comfy and then <laughs> for for our like top teams we won't really I, I really don't see any problems with queen's walk even though that would normally be like a troubled encounter yeah it's Queen's possible is, though. It's so it is it is, but it, it's so choreographed that from like especially from Aaron and Rem. Yeah, I wouldn't. I, I don't see. Them it, it's doing. it'll be interesting though because don't I mean doubt the just, nerves. yeah don't just doubt. yeah I would say don't doubt the nerves because so far <clears throat> excuse me just to kind of recap on Crota we had the biggest thing none of us ended up guessing it but your Ute ended up actually being the biggest block for a lot of teams getting a one phase yeah when we moved on to Deepstone Crypt. <clears throat> really the only thing that was was happening was was m minor mistakes on tanix that caused a white not picking up suppressor not picking um, up suppressor only yeah. having warden's law yep. because the team wiped unfortunately yes. you know, it, 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 it was all just minor things that caused tanix to actually be the block where we all predicted tanix would be the easiest part tanix was really the only block in deep stone what's yeah. crazy <clears throat> is that nazi look at all the golds here it is if that's a PB, then that's insane. And if that's their real splits, then that's insane. A six and a half minute PB is insane. Yes. Um, <clears throat> so then lastly here, we have Rolk. And once again, we guess first and third encounter, they end up being clockwork, but Rolk coming in and changing the whole race. <clears throat> no, Rolk was, uh, Rolk, Rolk 100%. Like it, it just comes <clears throat> down to, hey, I have 40 seconds that I have to save. <clears throat> I cannot play safe here let's do it let's do it and maybe not everybody being on the same page of let's do it and just it that's where it, that's where it was it happen. was so fast that the one thing they just forgot to do was ammo refresh yes yes and they were so fast and then it, and they didn't realize until clearly it was too late uh because that second one the ammo refresh and it was a whole different story exactly so, yeah just one tiny thing difference in literally a three minute pb almost and being five minutes behind Yes, it's it's <clears throat> such a world of difference for such a small mistake, and it only happens in honestly situations like these. Like it, these, this, this is where it makes a big difference, man. This is where this is where getting that god roll actually matters, chat. Yes, it All does. Right? Yes, it does. Everybody at home, make <clears throat> sure again while we're while we're watching some of the clears before last wish, guys. Make sure again exclamation point three, man exclamation point fun if you want to donate to the prize pool yep you can do exclamation point low man to figure out more stuff and then exclamation point rules to read up on the rules and follow along at home right now we're waiting on getting our results in for the third raid 
We're going to wait for it after the di uh, the did not finish timer is up. How much time do we have left? Yep. We have four minutes. And here's the thing with Rolk. They either start Rolk now or they can't catch up. It's a five minute encounter. Oh, that's true. And man, we are seeing, I mean, I feel like I'm back in the 90s right I now know. with this. But we are going to run with it. We got SNES Rolk here. And is there time here now with, with this uh, being four minutes? I don't know. Can they? make this back it up be really tight for lemon F. yeah this is gonna be insanely close here yeah it's gonna uh, be tight yeah also another thing to look for on wish yeah especially because we're seeing it here right with rolk mm -hmm. a lot of teams if you said this you know maybe three months ago i think most teams would have won phase with the galley yeah oh we yeah you're really seeing that galley nerf hit yeah. hard Agreed. how big was the nerf how big was the nerf like overall chronos wasn't it like 76 to 70 percent yeah no yeah. They, they they nuked it it wasn't really a nerf like, yeah. they, i mean they, yeah. they really hit it hard um and you're right i mean and it's made things interesting because i mean it Rolk was not comfy there it was clear like even getting it was really you know everything they had um everything. so and that's gonna affect wish because now you use rockets on riven some teams oh yeah oh, that wow. could be the difference between a one floor and a two floor you know yeah so it'll be it'll, it'll be interesting. I mean, this has been so far, I would say, a tournament that has been very back and forth and has had a bunch of blockers that have been, I would say, things just we haven't predicted. And I think that's made it more entertaining, personally. This Agreed. has been this has been a very fun race so far. Yeah, I, I think I think this time around, especially seeing a bunch of different damage, because I thought it was going to be three strand titans every single time, yeah, and it hasn't. It been. has not been at all. We have only seen really that in Crota. Yeah, Crota was, was the Strand yeah. Titan raid for sure. Right. Ever but, since, I mean, we'll, we'll have to see. Yeah, Tanix, I mean, we saw different things from Bait and Switch Rockets. We saw Merciless. We did. Um, we saw um, Hot Swapping with, with Slugs. We did. We we saw j really just about it, everything. Um, so, yeah, with that being said, it, it's going to be interesting to see where the Last Wish kind of damage strat goes. Yes. Um that balances, you know, making sure you get a, you know, a really good one floor and not fumbling the bag. Right. And, and wish <laughs> will be interesting because wish just, it just has so many encounters, so many places that you can mess up. But I would also say wish has a level of practice that I think everybody who's been doing any sort of low man has done a lot of last wish. So I would say it's the testament of where I think everybody has put their craft into is Last Wish. Last Wish is like most people's raid that they've spent the most amount of time with, but the nerves are on the line. It is. And, and honestly, it's Team Monkey Kings um, to lose. To lose. To yeah. lose. 100%. The ball is in their court. 100% because this is going to be one you really just don't need to be that fast. You just need to not wipe. Yeah. name of the game don't wipe if you need an additional encounter for, you know you know let's say riven or whatever it is you have that gap right you really do right um so we'll, we'll see how they play it i think it's gonna be interesting i think from the rest of the teams we're gonna be seeing completely all in yolo we gotta you right. know it, it, and they have to right they have to. so so it's gonna be interesting to see can a team really pull out a crazy time also, speaking of time, where are we at here with the did not finish it's time? Gonna, we have thirty seconds. Thirty. I, 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 think, right? I, I think it's a wrap. I, I don't. Think, I don't. I don't think they did have thirty seconds. I, I don't think because even just the getting the no, final stand part to... and then Rolk taking a moment before he lets you final yeah, stand. There's there, there's yeah. no way. There's no way. There's no way. So th this will be a did not finish, and we will be on to last wish, guys, in five minutes. And it's fitting it ends with last wish. This last this is wish. this is how it's got to end. It's, it's you know it's it's where it all began yes. and it's where it all is gonna end let's let's really hope that final shape has a raid with as many encounters as last wish that would be i know it's copium but I, that would be great that would be great i mean if we could even just get and i might be huffing lots of uh, copium, yeah, copium but, yeah. i mean just give me my refresh i guess yeah, but here. if we could get there you go. if we could get eight hours yeah. Eight. Oh my god. Eight. I know. I know. I know. Oh I'm coping. my god. I know. I'm coping. If we could even just get, if they just give us eight, eight hours eight. would be great. I mean, I want eighteen. I want. I want if, twenty-five. I want it not to be finished. I want it to. Yeah. I, next I, year. I want yep. it to be the first not finished raid. But that with that being so cool. with that being said, eight. 
I know eight. we're huffing copium, but yeah. it's eight is the minimum. Eight is the minimum. It's gotta be eight minimum. Man. You know, it might just be me, but it seems like with this tournament, um, a lot more people aren't finishing than in the last one. Yes, yeah. I am noticing. Like now, it looks like we only had like four, four teams finish. Yeah, yeah. Just that rope, man. I mean, this is a. It's a long, I mean, this one's more of a marathon of a raid, yeah. whereas DSC, I felt like a lot of teams finished, yeah. a lot of teams very comfy. Let's full screen theirs real quick. Yeah. Even though they're not going to get it, we'll, we'll watch their POV before this they is wrap a, up. This is spoiled a... Spoiled milk. Yep, good old spoiled milk going in for the participation oh. DNF right here. Yeah, I mean, you still know getting in for morale. And nothing yeah, wrong, but you know, a little bit of wrong. morale to go into the yeah, next one. Of course. I, I like it. Let's go spoil Maybe? milk. Okay, <laughs> that would have that would have definitely not been a, a morale boost if they died there. True, oh, true, yeah, true, true. But you know, luckily them getting it done. I know not with the time, but seeing the boss go down. Maybe they can build on it for last wish. They got it. Yes, 100%. All right. Well, how much further are we out until uh, last wish time? Should guys? be probably four minutes. We I got guess. four minutes. Yeah, four, four minutes. Four minutes. So wow. let's let's what we'll do though within those four minutes we do want to get the standings up one more time we want to get the audience kind of you know in tune with where things are at. Yes. Um, just is DM this that to you? Oh, and is this the, plates too? Yes, perfect. So this one is updated. So let's take well. a look here. So you see, that is a I mean, huge Aaron gap. seen one four one, and I mean one fifteen is first. Second is one twenty three. Eight minutes. Oh, big, roughly uh, seven and a half, but still. Seven oh, and a half oh, minutes oh, to almost beat. Almost eight minutes. That, that's going to be insanely difficult to come back from. I wow. mean, we are going to need to see a, a, a colossal meltdown. Yes, 100%. Is, it is really going to be the only way we, we would happens. We would need to see like five wipes. I would I, say. I'm thinking at least a Shirochi and Queen's Walk wipe. I think both. I, yes. really, I really do. Yes. I think that would be the recipe. I think most teams will handle Riven at least somewhat well, but I, I think we need to see Shiro and Queen's Walk. I mean, hey. The Team Monkey King, if you guys are listening, thousands on the line. Yes, it is. Team Which, speaking Team of that, Monkey. exclamation point fund on both sides, guys. I believe we are getting closer and closer to the big 2K mark. Everything going to the runners who have dedicated, you know, not only today to do this, but they have been grinding and practicing a bunch. So thank you guys for helping to support them and supporting the low man community in general. Making this possible. Shout out to everybody. Shout out to come, the Low Man community. That's come together and make this possible. Shout out to everybody hanging out in the streams today, man. Thank, thank you guys you, for thank, being here. Thank, Seriously. Thank you. Thank you. We thank appreciate you guys. It. You guys are freaking amazing, man. Yeah. Let's, you know, let's, let's, let's bring this home, guys. I mean, let's finish strong. This is going to be exciting. Yes. This is, this is going to be, in my opinion, this is, this is, I know we always use this term with Destiny, but right now it applies. Let me hear it. This is going to be make it or break it time, baby. All right. All right. Well, we'll see. Here it is. I mean, we're going to need, and you already see Reminis working on a few. They're just practicing a couple times their, uh, their push with the sword. Make sure that they really get every single little bit. I mean, they're, they're, yes. they're already getting ready. They're already practicing. They're already yes. practicing because you know we're going to see it the second they get the Queen's Walk. So with that being said, um, this is going to be really interesting. I mean, they yeah, really need left. to. They need to PB on a massive scale, and we need to see a a massive fail. One hundred percent. All right, guys. So we have one one minute left. Less Here we go. A minute, and you know what that means, CB. What does that mean, Mr. We are entering the final danger zone, and so we're gonna change the lights in here. We're gonna get everything ready. Okay. We've been on red the whole time. It's time. Where are we going? Well, you know where we're going, man. It's time to see nothing but the green. Okay. We are going to see the green right now, Mr. CB. All right. Well, I'm ready. Because that is what they are competing for, my friend. Yes, they are. It is true. We see a good luck stretch from Reminisce. Uh, hopefully, you know they're ready to go here. Um, I only missed one sure, though. Alrighty. No, I missed like half of them. Five minutes is up. Let's All right. Keep the countdown going. Here, right. here we go. Right, count us down. Ten. Ten. Nine. nine eight, eight. Seven. Seven. Six. <laughs> five. Four. Three. Two. two one. Go! Delay! <laughs> oh my god, wait. He's actually on top of the stream delay. Let's go! Alrighty. 
what? You didn't go for it? No. All right, here we go. The first skip is right already down. happening. Yeah. Yes, it is. And this is beautiful. I love some of the tech that goes into yes. getting right to Cali and getting things started. I mean, uh, fed, fed, uh, wait for transition. Will, skip will, that will, whole entire yep. wall, get everything ready. And we are right to Cali. We are right at Cali. Right to Cali. You already see Reminis. They're ready to go. All business. There's going to be no stopping. There's going to be no community. Like, you know, stopping the communicator, waiting for ammo. They are go, 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 go. They have seven and a half yeah. minutes. Rem remember, <laughs> to catch. seeing the top left, face. seeing Aaron, them being a little bit behind, it, it, they are not worried about that. They are trying to keep this within seven minutes. That's a whole encounter. Yes. That's a whole encounter of lead. No, no, oh, Justin, he had the wrong slug on. Nice. No. Hey, here we go. And it is all business already. already. Once again, he's got that all business face on again. <laughs> <laughs> That's one of my favorite faces. Let's go. Brilliant. And if you're in reminiscence position right now, you are trying to lock in. Yeah, no, you completely. Seven minutes. Yep. Oh, you no. Know it. And, and, and she's gone, and we're, we're right on to the next. So they have probably about, I'd say, 10 seconds of lead if they keep that damage the way it is on airs. No, maybe more like 15 to 20. Um, so they, they, they made up a little They're bit. They're about to lose it because they didn't kill the up. There we yep. go. Oh. The, the teleport. There we yeah, go. you're she not wrong. Yep. You had... Their kill was really oh, bad. Their kill was, was so bad. Was they so they so made up the time. Yes. They it's, made I'm up. Because Callie's health bar can go down, but it's like a, the game oh, detects it when she teleports. Oh, that's, yep. when the, that's when the kill has to happen. That, that kill just cost them probably 15 seconds. Yes, it did. Wow. So again, a lot of this is just going to come down to, man, it, it's just going to come down to hoping that Aaron's mistake, team has mistake. a mistake, mistake, a big mistake. It has to be. Right. Like, we need mistakes. We don't need them, you know, just small errors. We need, like, we need mistakes. We need mistakes. It's the only way. That's the only way. So we'll see how this goes. Do not you go play too. All right, there's some cool things that happen in Shuro. So, you know, eyes up. Here we go. And I'm just going to pull up a Cadgar of these two because these are our top two teams right yep. now competing. I'm just going to go back and forth. We'll come right back to the multi POV after yep. or and if another team takes it. But. And while Evan is doing that, Kronos MJ, for those that are watching, anything notable that we want to bring up for sure while we're sitting here? You're going to see <laughs> some pre plate action here. And for those that don't know, normally you do the Shuro plates just like you normally have, but. I'd say around the last four months, they discovered pre-plating. That allows you to instantly complete a floor. Does. Not even having to do the puzzle. This is one of the coolest things that everybody in chat, you guys can write this down and bring it to your LFGs and say, hey, look, there is no more plates. <laughs> nope. We don't have to worry about that part. And uh, last wish clears automatically go up after doing this. That is true if they're not just wish walling. If they're not just wish walling. <laughs> Don't be wish walling. No. Yeah. <laughs> Especially with the nerves here, too. I don't have radio. Somebody could drop a pre play, and that's going to be hard as well. True. So. Okay, well, let's yeah. watch this chat. first pre play, and then we'll go back duo. I know, I know. You can see already right there. Yep. Three, those plates are lit up. Already active. Yep, I see them. So they're doing a safe version right here. They're just going to all slide. Nice. And look that at was like musical oh chairs. Oh my gosh. And it was yeah. beautiful that is what was, it was. Okay. That, that was, was absolutely beautiful. beautiful. Now let's see, because I'm very curious. They really need a mistake here on Shuro. Which? Are they okay? They are okay. I think he yeah, just he reset. reset. They just reset. They just reset. They just reset. That's the, that's the yeah, classic. They, they I can't yeah, stand on the plate. Exactly. Yep. We know how that goes. Oh, so I that's mean, your top team right there too. Okay. That's kind of a mistake. That, that's a, that's probably a, a at least fifteen to twenty second mistake. I mean, he took the lead just now, and he's fallen down. I mean, this is all right. But this is okay for them though. Remember, all they want to do is finish. not wipe. Yes. That is their whole game plan. No wiping. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. We continue here. Can you make a special? Oh, I just got a brick to drop. I have two shots. Then you finny on me. Finny on me. Here we go. Things are going to be pretty standard until we get to the next pattern here. And you know Rem is locked in right now. <laughs> he's probably got one of the most locked in gamer faces. Yes, I'll he give does. it to him. Like when Rem locks in, he's in. 
I need to learn how you to should, get in that you zone. You should be in VC with him when he's or when he's like this. It really? Is, it is something else. <laughs> <laughs> One of these days, I'll have it to. Sounds like an AI like chatbot him. talking. <laughs> I mean, no, he he's he is he's locked. locked. He's locked. He's locked. <laughs> All right, here we go. So we are going to see now the second puzzle. They had a safe, but very, very, very smooth. Very cool. Very smooth one. Yes. Let's see how this one goes. Drops the well in the corner. Looks like they're going for the safety one again, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, another safety one. Yeah, it does look like it. We're going to play musical chairs. Here we go. Musical he's not going to have well for that transition because he's doing this, so keep that in mind. Awesome. Right. You ready? Special I have Maybe that's why he has in the Ahamkara card thing. He's probably yeah. has double hands on, trying to that just gen stuff. That was, that was really smooth again. It. Let's go back over to Aaron's if we can, yes. so we can yep. see. We really want to see if they're going to be able to do this as well. Remember, for those that are watching that might be curious why maybe Aaron's team is going slow, they, they have a massive lead. So they, they are playing to finish. They did not it there with the, with the musical chairs as well. Yes, so they did. We, now we can go back and forth <laughs> here because they're... I mean, Rem is just barely ahead right now. Yeah, we can probably duo this right here. Yes. The so Rem is just barely ahead of Aaron. And, I mean, it's, it's, it's going to be close. But, again, like we said, Aaron has so much time that all they have to do is, is just chill. Is just finish. Yeah. No wipes. They, they can take this slow. They can be 10 to 15 seconds ahead per encounter. That would only even, even 30 seconds behind each encounter would only equal a few minutes. Yes. It, it, I mean, it, it, it really won't matter until Aaron makes a major mistake. Major. It would have to be. It would like, need to be right here. It, it, yes. It, it would, would need to be here. If, if, if <laughs> they wipe here. So, okay. So Rem is through. So Justin let's go full well. screen let's to Aaron. Let's make sure they finish, all right? Yeah, that's okay. Oh, yeah, my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. So if they wipe here, then this actually would, would give Rem the chance to win it all. It would. So let's see. Come on, man. I don't want to see you wipe, but I want to see some action. Come on. It's pretty oh, standard. It's I think pretty standard. Yeah, it's pretty standard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, it, they've been pretty much business as usual on just about everything. The only thing where they weren't, was the small mistake that cost them everything on Tanix. Yes. That, that's really been it. Same here. And we're about to see we're about to see them cook right through the bridge here. And I mean if you've ever <laughs> if you've ever run the bridge and you're you normally play some last wish, you'll notice that um the way that they handle the bridge, man, it it's kinda it's it's smooth. It is. I mean you can tell, I mean they live in here. Yes. Like you, you can just tell. There's just no panicking, no nothing. It's just business. All business as usual. Oh. There we go. Like and we are like on to good old Morgoth. Already on Morgoth. And right now, yep. let's go back to Aaron. And they are just behind uh, them. Yep. They're probably up by 20 to 25 seconds. But just as we keep reiterating, what perfectly is fine. Yes. Perfectly fine. And it, I mean, it really <laughs> all came down to that wipe at Rolk. That Rolk wipe really Rolk, did Rolk wipe. knock and, them back so and, and far. And really getting that sixth place in Crota did not help when no. being in first. Being in first. Being in first, losing one oversoul and costing them minutes. Alrighty, we are going to go duo box here because they are both at the exact same encounter at the exact same time. Yep. Let's see it, man. And so with this, I mean, obviously this is pretty standard. Uh, MJ and Kronos, but even any of the slightest, what would be the slightest thing that anybody could struggle on here? Like, the slightest. Give us slightest something, thing, man. Maybe. You know what? It could even be something as simple as just not being on the right okay. side. You know, sometimes you have two major captains on the other side. Mm -hmm. You know, if you aren't there on time, right? That's three seconds time loss, but... Maybe someone doesn't kill. Someone doesn't <laughs> kill. Gotcha. Uh, you could see you have to have all the majors have to be dead before damage. Yeah. yeah. Uh, somewhat all you right could on. forget a major pretty easily. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but it looks I like they're it. anarchy trapping uh, on that right side. Shim is against Rem. So I don't I, I don't see that being an issue. It looks like they're about to go for damage here. Yeah, and so we see Galley on the side of Aaron. Just... On this side, we see Tractor. And once again, Double slug hot swap. It's I mean, we've been seeing a bunch. His teammate too. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We're, we're sand <laughs> over yeah, Ran over it. Sure. You know they're gonna stack this up and they are gonna go they're crazy. Just... They're gonna go yes. crazy. 
little Wardcliff coil machine gun. Yep. And we see a DSM. And so now I would say that they, I mean, Reminis, they have built up their lead, but once again, it just keeps going back to all that we need to see from here from Aaron is just not a wipe. Not a wipe. This not a wipe. Be another encounter win. that um, well, could put Remin in, in first place if uh, Aaron wipes on it. Because, uh, I mean, Vault, it's just it's just so long. See, right. Man. And I do want to take a moment to say, Reminis, another gold. Another Their fastest gold. Morgith right yeah. there. That was yeah. the fastest yeah. they've ever cleared yeah. that. So they're gaming. They are gaming. They are cooking where they need to cook. They just, man, we just need to see the finish really, really strong. Right. And here we go. This is the first, you know, moment here. Let's uh, see how they, they handle uh, damage. Right. Yeah. All right. There goes Aaron with and Parasite, and with Blade Barrage. Yeah. Double man, slug. Man, man, man. And just and once again, is... they've been so consistent. What, 80%? 90%? No, they're, no, no, they're okay. Oh, they're okay. They're, they, they just, oh, very close, yeah, though. It is close, but man, they just are just taking their time. You can yes. tell they're not panicking. And, and you know, here they're we are on the, ride. on the vault. What's crazy is that I think at this point, Rem <laughs> is, Rem is almost, I'd, I'd say he's probably almost a minute ahead. No, they, they, they're they close to that, I would agree. And, and the thing that I'll mention for every single race they've they've had, even though they, they've had some unfortunate errors, they've been on good PB pace in every race. Now, they haven't PB'd, I, I get it, but they have been playing well above what at least their best is um, each time. So, I mean, they're, they're, they're very, you know, good under pressure. They've just had some unfortunate errors. And you gotta remember, Reminiscent's been here since Where am I dunking? our second tourney ever. There, We've had there, four there. over the last three years. So. Really? Yeah. That PB is, you know, over years wow. of That's running. It's an established PB. Dunk. Yeah. Yeah. The dude's a gamer. I mean, we the, love to see it. It's kind of amazing to see that many PBs too. It, I mean, it, they've been running for what four different events, and this is the this is like they, the, they've been on PB, I think this is like the PB sixth for PB them. we've seen. Well. They, well PB pace. Sorry, sir. I, yeah, I, yeah, I didn't yeah, mean PB. Yeah, I meant yeah. gold. Oh yeah, gold. The gold. Yeah. This is like oh, yeah, the yeah. sixth gold I've seen. Oh, they've been lower in that sum of uh, S. Oh, most eight. definitely. Bird or fish swimming up. Yeah. Boring bird ants. And as well, I mean, even the last tourney, they were strong finishers in Wish. Really? You know, they finished first in the last tourney with Wish. So yep. this is a raid they definitely feel comfortable in. Yes. And it's just about can they build that lead with Ribbon? Right. And unfortunately with this, and get a little luck with, I they think, need needing luck. help. Because I think this very much is still, it, it needs an Aaron mistake, even if they played out of their mind. It's just, even if they played to their sum of best, they would only save three minutes on their PB, yeah. right? So it, it, yeah. they need a mistake. Right? They, need a, they need a big mistake. They need like a round three of Vault, banking the wrong one and timer running out kind of mistake. Now watch out, another team just hit Vault. Really? Not too long ago. Yeah. Okay. Where is that team placed in the um, the uh, rest of the standings? Okay. Let's say something about Right around third, third or fourth. Third or fourth. Okay, that is good. Yeah. yeah. We'll pull them up in just a sec. This one's just so neck and neck between first and second. I don't even want to leave right now, man. Okay. Yeah, and no, I've got Remstream up on a, on another tab right, so I can watch like the mainstream and then watch his as well. This this is gonna, Jump I mean, oh, man. That's where the bats going. I just like I said, I mean, <laughs> I'll keep you know giving you know, Aaron's team the praise 100%. they deserve. They just are not they, making mistakes. They don't make mistakes right. right. Now. They're not like, are they playing? Are they playing like the absolute you know fastest game? No, but they don't need to. They just need to stay alive. Do the encounters, get through it, and they win. Right. They can see next year, next year, the yep. they can see the bag right now. You want to refresh that GoFundMe? Where are we at on the GoFundMe? Oh, I can do that. Let's oh, see. One oh, second. Yes. We are at almost, almost 1700. Guys, we're at 1690 awesome. right now for a fund. Oh, a knight! A knight! Whoa, 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 whoa! Talking too much. Out. Nice, there's, nice, oh my god, they got the knight. Go, go, go. That was close. That was very That close. was almost a mistake they needed. That was close to that a wipe. That was very close that to was a close. wipe. That was close. This is second rotation, right? Yeah. 
Alright, and Rem is through. Yeah, they are. I mean, they're cooking. I mean, man, they just needed to not have that gap. Eight, man. Infinity, infinity, infinity. 69. Because they're playing uh, awesome. Eight, yeah. A minute on PB right now. Infinity. 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 I have infinity. Oh, can I read again? Read again. Read get again. On, what? No, Wait, no, no, no. It did freeze. I'm Your in. stream did freeze. I'm Please 69. still be uh, live. Please don't yeah, have. Still it's, okay, good, 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 good. It's just the website buffering. I also got Good, 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 good. I was scared. And so we got a team already at Riven right now, ladies and gentlemen. We are we are already getting towards the end of Last Wish. Yeah, they have a juicy lead in this raid, but man, they just need one mistake. One mistake. We need this money. There you go. You heard it first. I mean, I'm seeing lament on reminiscent. Yeah, that's true. Yep. I'm not seeing a titan. I'm not in the game where I would just inspect. Oh, and Riven's there too. This is, I mean, honestly, this is shaping up for like a massive run. But man, like, can can one mistake happen? Where, where, where? Because this is the exact RNG they need here. I mean, this is, this is, they can really, you know, bake and get really ahead. Just pick up a solo. I think we're going to have flashbacks to when Rem first participated in the tournament and got stuck on Riven for like 20 minutes. I hope not. Because <laughs> they need they can need to sure PB and Aaron's team needs to just get stuck somewhere. Yeah. But That's the, really the thing at this point outside of the obvious messing up Queen's Walk. Is there anything that could throw them off in Riven? Because here they are on the Riven. Kill. A if one floor. Hit, they may or may not get the one floor. So it, you see all three of them are there. So they've hard committed. Yeah. They don't know the eyes. They can't save it. It's either yeah. kill now or it's a wipe. Yeah. Alrighty. And they don't have a titan, so I'm really curious to mm -hmm. see. Here we go. Alright. Here we go. Come on, game I'm going, face. I'm going full Here we go. Come on. Second. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. We need we need the big Crit. damage. Okay, that, oh, that that's big. Is, that's big. That that's big. Keep it going. It is slowing a little bit. No, it's slowing is a little bit. It, it is crazy. Keep it going. 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 Oh, ah, there we go. Beautiful, yeah, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. When it nice started and half yeah, the health bar died, yeah, I was yeah. like, uh-uh. You're not ready. All right, monkey. All right. Wow, Damn. okay, so there. Uh, they bounce off the uh, failing to blast. Yeah, so see if he gets a good boop. Uh, Honestly, he rises. Good boop. Yep, looks good. I would love to see them get a sub 20 here time. This would be really cool to just break that 20 barrier for them. And then a little fourth horseman here, yeah? Oh, yeah. Oh. They just gotta close out a Queen's Walk. Yeah, like I, I think if they can close this out, they're at least. I mean, even if they don't win, they're they're looking at a sub twenty last wish, which it would be an awesome accomplishment. That would be really cool. I understand that one. I'm sorry, Fit. Yeah, we're good. I have a fuck ton of points. Yeah, they got like suspended. It looks like their PB is what a twenty forty six, so they can they easily beat that here. They close out. Yeah, I mean they did. I'm really curious on I guess where they lost the most time there. With, I mean, maybe oh, no, I, no, was it just Riven damage that they lost time on? That's what I'm wondering. Me, 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 me. MJ Kronos, you'd probably be the ones to weigh in just there. Just little things like little um, things. on the transitions they didn't DSM, like little gotcha. things like that. Okay, so. gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Oh. Right. He's lining him up. Here we go. Jump and then and he hits here we go. Here we go. Here Let's we go. see a good line. Let's see a good line. Come on. Come on. I want to see a sub 20. It'd be huge. I don't know how much time they have to save Five, in this split, but I'd assume four. it's at least. Seven Sorry. seconds. Two, At least seven one. seconds. Oh no! Oh, no! My, 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 that was bad. No, that was bad. That was really bad. No. They have to wipe. Oh, they, they do. Have to yeah, they, have to wipe. They, they do have to wipe. Oh no. man, it's another case no, of just the. No. It's just At another the case of At the, the end. end. At, At the, the very, end. very the end, man. So just to recap, so far with Reminis, Snazzy, and Uzi, we've had they lost the Oversoul when trying to one phase. We had um, then they they got first place in Tanix. After that, we moved on to Val. Unfortunately, they, they did the one phase, but didn't have enough for final stand because they didn't go and refresh ammo. And now here, we had a, a unfortunately, a bad Eager's Edge. A bad Eager's Edge. When and they that'll practiced do it. it at the beginning. They did. That's the thing. I wonder if they almost like psyched themselves out, like doing a little bit extra of it. They're doing, a, I mean, they got to do a lot. And so they probably are trying to, you know, work faster than they can actually move. Right. Their brains are working so fast. And we see Rem that locked in and, the whole and, time. And once that... again, just like I mentioned with Aaron, 
no mistakes. No mistakes. No mistakes. No mistakes at all. Just business oh, as usual. Okay, well they're at Queenswalk, so. Okay, Rem, Rem Queenswalk. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's that's a, that's an unfortunate failing. Like. It should be okay. Should be all right. Should be okay. Seven, I'm just six, practice. Don't die. Like four, three. He, he, he missed. He missed. He missed. He missed. He missed. A little bit of a high jump. It'll it'll work, but man, oh, no, no. that is he, he, nah. That one's no, bad. He, he missed twice. I don't know if they can get their lines broken there. They have to wipe. And look at Aaron's team. They're, they're taking their time. And as they're sad as this up. is, once again, time. Evan, look at the theme. That they went the theme. slow, and they are going to get first again yes, if they, they don't are. wipe. So once again, it's happened now three different times where we've watched Aaron's team not get to boss first, not get to DPS first, and get a first place finish. Yes. It just, I guess the lesson learned here is just, you know. I think tur turtle and hair. Turtle and the, yeah, turtle and the hair. Like at the end of the day, you don't have to be the fastest at the very at, at least at the very end. Maybe just agree. Like slow it down just a little bit. You don't but have so to be lucky. fast. To this be is first. this has been such a, an awesome event, man. Like yes, this it has is. been such a good day. Thank you guys for being here today, guys. Seriously, yes. we appreciate you. Everybody from all of the chats around and everybody from the little man community, thank you for being here. Seriously, like, seriously, guys, this has been such a freaking amazing day so thank you guys for being a part of this yes it is thank you the low man community for putting it together and i hope you guys have enjoyed hanging with us yeah i actually forgot what track was yeah I was thinking it's, of it's boss, been awesome like, oh that well. is so okay bro yeah <laughs> <just everybody's laughs> <safe>. yeah Aaron's, <laughs> Aaron's, Aaron's getting it yeah, yeah they know they didn't even have to do vault skip they know no, yeah they know and, and you know, so they're saying nbc right now like you know just seven, finish it out six, yeah we got five uh, minutes so Four, they just got first, three, yeah. chilling, two, chilling. Uh, I mean, because Shuro, they went Cody. very slow. Like I've officially yes. made they didn't go fast. Yeah. And, and so that motherfucker better suck my dick. <laughs> whoa. Shut your mouth, I suck. Oh, 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 whoa, oh, whoa, 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 bro. Man, man, why is he Take the W and just move on, man. <laughs> yeah, that was kind of unnecessary. Jesus, man. Okay. <laughs> but they did but win they did win they did win either way gg yeah, yeah that was needed but ggs yes. ggs 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 well there you go boys at the end of the day it was still in a good example of turtle in the hair no matter no, it, what 100 percent was i mean every single time they didn't panic not being first to an encounter they didn't panic not being first to dps they just made sure when they did get to dps they finished. Yeah. And there we go. And there's second place finish right there. 21, 29. Okay. Not the sub 20, but 2201 for first. Yeah. yeah. 21? 21. I got 2252. What? And when did you I the think first that's it. Unless that some other team finished like five minutes before that. That should be it. it. Let me go and check. Well, GG's to Aaron. Uh, GG's to, I think it's Team Monkey King. GG's to them on Nanjing, the first place Nanjing. finish. The Nanjing, Nanjing Monkey King. Yep. Nanjing Monkey Kings. GG's. You know, it was definitely an insane, I think an insane performance just yeah, all seriously. around across the board. I think even when they didn't get first, which was Annex, did they get second? I can't remember. Yes. Can you guys refresh me? So they went first, second, first, first. So, I mean, they, they pretty much ran the deck. Yeah. Oh, sorry. They went fourth. Oh, they, fourth. Yeah, okay. It was, fourth it was fourth. The okay. First, fourth, first, first, fourth, first, first. first. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. There we go. It popped off. Speaking of popping off, Reminiscence team, they clawed their way back from sixth on Crota. Yeah. First, the DSC, second in Bass, second in Wish. So, yeah, they played really, really well. What, what was the, the whole way. Yeah. What was their um, final? Did they end up getting second with their uh, they sub? They ended up getting second. They overall, did. Okay. One double check. Best overall. Yep. Nice. We're still waiting yeah. for, yeah, other times are still coming in, but like, it, yeah. 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 All right, let's see. Is there anybody else that's close? Um, yeah, we do. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, Engelbert's. Engelbert. Yeah. yeah. Let's do that. See if there's anybody else like right there. I think it's Engelbert though. We'll be right up next. Let me double check to see. Team. Yeah, our winning team of Pajaro, Fetty, and Aaron. For it's, just fed. Games. it's just Fed. <laughs> Is it Fed? Yeah. So Fed, Aaron, and then Pajaro, right? Yeah. yeah. GG's, guys. Seriously. You guys played insane today. Five, Very good win. Four, 
And I mean, like we said, I mean, they just never panicked. Not even once. Never. Yeah. It was Took three it was, first place home. Like, it was a very, very like top to bottom. Like, bro, they just I, I don't know. Top to bottom, it was just very consistent. That was like the best best example. So I don't know if Aaron fed or I believe it's Pajaro, right? Are we saying that correctly? Yeah. Okay. So yep. Aaron fed or or Pajaro. Like I don't know if you guys heard what we were saying, but the the whole time we were saying, man, this is like it's not the turtle in the hair because you guys were still fast as hell, but it was like the hair in the hair. And you guys played just a very consistent game by the end. Weren't trying to do too much. Right. And it, and it paid Especially off. Especially on DPS phase yeah. because that's the part that was really the most telling in every single raid. I mean, we saw it with the, the Crota wipe. We saw it with the Val wipe. We, I mean, we saw it with so many different things where just making sure you take care of the final DPS phase was the difference between first and second on every single one. 100%. And I, that was that was great, guys. Took care of business. GG's. <laughs> and, okay, so there's another finish right there. And... Let's go over to Let's we see have a Queen's we, right we here do by have Denzel. One more. Let's see. Here we go. Denzel. <coughs> Denzel, they played solid. They played really they, well. They they had solid times in just about every single one. Even though like obviously it didn't equate to first or anything, you know, um every single time they were really in it. I think I think Denzel is definitely um a player that I'm looking out for now because I, I think Denzel played really well. I, I would there agree. were times where we're just like, wait. This team is how far ahead? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we would come right to this tab, and it was just, it was great. Because wasn't it, I think it was Descent when, or I'm trying to think when they broke out one time. It was Descent. It was, it it was, was descent. that's what I thought. Yes. Yeah, 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 and I was like, whoa, where'd they even come from? Like, they they balled, they balled out, so. Yeah, no, we're, for real. We're, where are we out on the, um, the did not finish time for this final one? We got about 13 minutes left. 13 okay. minutes. Something interesting to note, let me send this to you as well. Yeah. Both of these first and second teams also play in our last tourney. And it's really interesting seeing their old times compared to now. Did they? Let's take a peek. Mm -hmm. Oops. So this was the last tournament. Yeah. Yep. And we can see. We see Monkey King. Monkey sixth, King right here. Fifth, 12th, 10th, 7th, and mean, look fifth. Look at that. From fifth all the way to first. That's insane. That's actually huge. Team BBN. Ninth, sixth, ninth, second. second. From third, they went. Oh my god, that is crazy! That much of a jump to third, all the way to second. It's so an improvement on both ends. still an improvement on both ends, no matter what, man. Right. That is, that's amazing. Man, and we remember that last year too. Just seeing Dash up there. I mean, last year, good yeah, Lord. Dash it was one, 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 man. That was insane. That was year. a crazy, crazy, crazy yeah. day. Yes, it was. We miss you, Team Dash. We miss you. Um, yeah, I see reminiscent chat too. GG's, hey, man, you, you guys balled out. Like, I mean, it seemed like every single time you were golding, you were on PB pace every time. It literally looked like you know, it, you were on the brink of an insane PB in a race, and I think that's wild. So, Dude. GG's to you guys. Like, I mean, I think that you guys played insane for it to be like in a race. The, the splits and the paces you guys were on were wild. No, seriously, hey, GG's from seriously. Like everybody in like today's competition, like, it, this was amazing. GG snazzy. Yo, GG's everybody in chat. Like, if you're a runner in chat right now, GG's. If you're just hanging out in chat and you're a viewer watching just today, just to see what was up, GG's. Like, this was such an awesome day. Can we get one large GG and some hearts in chat, please? Yeah, for everyone. For everyone. Yeah, this was dope. This and, was a lot of fun. And for everybody putting it together as well. I and you know. All the work that went in behind the scenes, the, the casters, the people that put together the prize pool and getting the, you know, the, the funding situation set up, you know, getting all the teams coordinated, you know, all the teams that practiced all the time that, you know, they didn't just all show up here, you know, and just start racing. P teams were put in, you know, lots of time into practicing, you know, and, and you know, there's all of it. So just GG's. And, GG's across the board. And, and thanks for, you know, letting, you know, Evan and I be a part of it. Just happy just to see you guys ball out. So it's been cool. For sure. It's been I, great. Next time I won't have a. Uh, next time I won't be sick when we do this. All right, guys. <laughs> Promise. Yeah. Fucking props yeah. to you for pulling through while like dying. <laughs> uh, it's 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 all good, bro. Like this yeah. is this is something like you know when you like, <laughs> you know when like you get that like burst of like energy because you're like excited to be somewhere. 
that's all that yeah. matters right now. Like that's I don't know if it's like adrenaline or just like I'm excited to be here. So you know, I would have made I, it no matter what. I can't wait to wake up in the morning and I'll be sick. But you know, <laughs> we, we we do what we do what we do. <laughs> Love you, Vendetta. Hopefully, like my dude, my mask has been like tilted one side the whole time. I can't. I don't even know. Like well, I don't. Even, I'm trying to fix it. I don't even know like where it needs to be fixed. But thank yeah. you, thank you, Salt. Appreciate no, thank you, brother. Salt. Thank you, Mister Vendetta. Oh man. This was fun. This, this, was this, was, fun. this was a lot of fun, guys. I mean, this is something that I hope, you know, isn't, you know, a, you know, a two off thing where we've done a couple. I know you've done more than two, but like, you know, where we do these two and then, you know, it kind of falls off for a little bit. Definitely keep this momentum going because I think that these tournaments ultimately highlight just how cool low manning can be, in my opinion. Oh, and they just I, missed it. I, I think it's a really cool way of showcasing just how talented you guys are, but also how cool. Um, you know, the strats and the um, tech is for, you know, making these three mans possible. Yeah. And so, guys, this, so for at, at least on, on CB and I's personal side, we, we do have another event coming up in November. Um, it is going to be for the speedrun community. Um, but for the low man community, do you guys have any plans on something coming out soon? Do you have any, like, you know, hey, we got we got something big coming up real soon we're looking to make something after final shape like 100 percent. so okay we'll probably be yeah uh, probably be around yeah. then i know um we're yeah we're, we're we're just waiting until after the final shape raid well there you go guys right, so uh, sometime hopefully in the spring of next year is what i'm at least hoping for yes. we, we, we're hoping for it spring yeah. spring of next year everybody so make sure you're locked in for spring of next year for a, another low man tournament and you know what that one even bigger and better it will be. I mean, it's going to be, I mean, what? who knows what type of tech will be for the witness? Uh, who, who, yeah, who, who knows? knows? So, it, so it'll be cool. <laughs> but I do hope that even though that's when we're planning in the spring, I hope that, you know, a lot of prep and, you know, uh, you know, work will start to be done even earlier so we can, you know, make it even bigger. I think oh, yeah. that in my when, opinion, when final said. shape, we, we, we blow it out the park and make it where, you know, it, it just is on a whole different stratosphere than, than the, you know, what we've done here up to this point oh 100 percent. we'll be looking forward to another snazzy reaction if the witness gets soloed we'll yes, be we looking will. forward to we'll be looking forward to all the different stuff that comes with that raid and if bungie does actually come through with that promise that this raid is supposed to be on par with valka or with difficulty we better be in the seat for we 20 better hours. be here because you know we'll be casting the ray race but we better be here for at least 12 at least hours. 20 yeah 12 minutes. i want to be sleeping on the couch back there i want it to be the first unfinished raid i, I want maybe that's just me i want it selfish. to be unfinished i want it to not get finished i'm gonna dude i'm, I'm putting my I'm, guess I'm, right wait. now at, at wait, am I oh god we're so I, powerful I just, want, I just i i i know it's copium but i want eight to twelve if we get nerfed hard like if all the abilities get nerfed Oh, no, 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 like, eight to 12. like everything gets nerfed, then I'm saying it's 8 to 12. Okay, that's if, what I... If I, not, it's 5 to 6. And I do think it's copium, but I do want 8 to 12, too. Yeah. I think 8 to 12, we could be like, okay, yeah, like that, you know, we, we can we can dig that. Um, Where are we at on the did not finish timer, by the way? Bro, what is Four this? minutes for the rest of the team. Is that, a, is that a... Uh, um, a, what is that? What is that? It's an Australian animal. It's a what wombat. Is a wombat. Oh, yeah, dude. At, le at least it's not a foot. This time. Yeah, at least not. A foot this time. <laughs> yeah. So, um, make sure that uh, Kronos has the spreadsheet. By the way, Fed. Cool. Are there any other teams that are uh, right at the finish line? We do have four minutes. Let's see if there's anybody else getting closer. Oh, we, oh, we saw another wipe from Narwhals. Let's see one more Narwhal, see if they can clutch it at the yeah, end. We'll, we'll see it. Because we really only have time for probably maybe one or two more attempts. So let's see if they can <laughs> yeah. snag this out. A little backstory for Narwhals. He lost his third due to IRL stuff. So uh, they got a sub literally like two days ago. And yeah. for them to still be finishing this out, I think is amazing. It's amazing. Yeah, no, 100%. You know, I think I think at the very least, like even finishing within the DNF time has been like such a huge accomplishment because the DNF times have been set pretty pretty strong. I mean, every yeah. time that a, a team ends up winning, like it, there's a pretty like it, it's hard to clear that gap, especially when you are even in the encounter you wipe one more time. Oh, that's another whatever amount of time. Also, wait, do you see that? What did I miss? I turned Dude, really he, to the leader before. He second. accidentally put on the wrong class item, and those phalanxes were question marks. Oh, because he couldn't hit them. Yeah. And that's a wipe. 
That's a wipe. So they might have won more. Yeah, they got one or two more max. I mean, two minutes counting on the timer. What would that class that line have needed crazy. to be? To, it's like a, a 1600 race. It's a, it's a 21 power class oh line. Oh my god. Yeah, for vault, so you can. Gotcha. Yep, 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 yep. Uh, it's just I would assume it's to what? Take extra damage or take less damage? Or, wait, no. What? What, uh, what is like the main be, reason? It would be so you like can't kill the captain in vault. You can launch him, but. Right. Tractor cannon boob. Yeah. Nope. yeah. Remember the original tractor cannon boop? It was really good for um you could just like you, you would just like move the captains around no problem with tractor cannon boop, but Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Water yeah, water made a good point. Yeah, I'm kind of brain farting. It, it's just so he could uh kill himself right at the start. Oh and, and not make top. it him. Gotcha. Yeah, and he yeah. just gotta switch off it. And so they're standing here, get the nice little smack. Right, that was, that was, a good that was pretty good. Let's see if they can clutch us out. What is our timeout? One minute. This has got to be it. All right, oh, this, this is, is the it. one. Let's see it. Come on, it. Come on. Come on. Come, come on, on Narwhals. Narwhals. Here we go. Let's go. We need a really good launch here. That'll work. That is a good launch. That'll work. That will work. <laughs> Gotta save your teammate, though. But yes, that was a really good launch. Here we go. Come on, you guys. Yeah, you got this. Dragging. Left click him. Nice. Yeah, good for Here we go. Keep it moving. Good, good, good. We need another good launch here. This is where we've seen a couple teams struggle with this right here. Oh, and I, uh, I jinxed it too. That smack was we, we've seen that a couple times, unfortunately. Oh dude, my god, My shoe's a bit behind yours. Oh. Yeah, that was, that was rough. <laughs> yes, <it> no, <laughs> man. I mean, They're going to need a really good launch right here. Maybe, Copium, uh, maybe. Come on. It come might on. be a little Copium. Uh, I don't I know why he doesn't have you. shoulder uh, Oh. Yeah, even tractor. I just oh, and he no, missed the tractor it, boop. No. no. Yeah, that, that, that's that's a wrap. That's that's, that's a wrap. That's that's a wrap. Are any other teams about to finish? Um, I we'll take check. one final peek. Because if not, that's it. Wait, was that spoiled? That wait, right here, right here. Wait, right wait, here. okay, wait. What's our timeout? What's our timeout? No, I know. What's what's the did not finish time? I, th I think we gotta let him finish. We, this is it. We, we do, we do. Here we go. I think Come we on. Have to let him finish. He's right there. He's right Come there. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Come on, Sap. Come on. Come on. Yeah, Come on, Sap. Hey, this is that's a we good reset. It. This should be a free drop. It would have been DNF oh. even if I got it. Let's go. And it's a little bit after GG's, GG's. Got it. It's inside, but it's GGs. okay. GG's, 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 GG's. It. Nice. It's a bit after DNF, but I think they earned it. Yeah, yeah, 100%. Very nice, very nice. Very nice. Very nice. It's like it's right it. after, yeah. GG's, GG's. Well, that was uh, that was amazing, man. I mean, that was just a lot of fun top to bottom. Yes, hey, congrats again. Congrats. Oh, wait, what happened? Yeah, let's just reload. Yes. Congrats. Congrats, congrats. The team... Anjing, Monkey King. Monkey I hope King. I said that correct. Yeah, you guys did fantastic. Also, congratulations to everybody else. Congratulations to BBN as well. Um, seriously, I mean, you guys played awesome as well. Snazzy, uh, Uzi, <laughs> Rem. You guys, you guys played yeah. awesome. Seriously, they had their game you know, faces on. It was it was a pleasure to watch every single team. Yes. And um, I mean, clearly, you guys have practiced a lot, and it's been cool to see that on display. So, thanks for putting on a show. For sure. Yeah. Look at that wombat go, man. Look at him go. He's a big boy getting held up and tossed around in a circle. All right. Well, well I that's, think that's, uh, that's probably gonna, I think, do it. We did get to the end of the timer. So as a recap, yeah. you see the leaderboard. And uh, this at least concludes the second one where you've let Evan and I be a part of it. And we appreciate it. It's been a blast. It really has. Yeah. Oh, God, you guys it's can been be a awesome. part of it. Hey, one more time, everybody in chats, both CB's chat and my chat, can we get some hearts again for the Low Man community for putting this together, inviting yep. us on to cast it, and some love for all the people that donated to the GoFundMe. Yep. Seriously, guys. Thank you, thank you. Let's get some love, man. Let's get some love to all the people behind the scenes that are throwing these spreadsheets together, yep. getting all these channels pulled up so that we can have a good show, man. Like, seriously, let's get some love all together. Yep. Thank you guys so much again, and we look forward to the spring. And let's get on it. Let's make sure to keep building. Let's not, you oh, know, yeah. stall. Let's let's oh, yeah. keep this going. And you know, we have to do one more time, right? What's that? What did we end with last time? Oh, well, we gotta get back into the. We gotta go into the mod chat for that. How did we end last time? Why am I doing? Shout out.
It's a JBD, man. JBD. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> Shout out to JBD. Oh, JBD. Uh, JBD. Shout out to JBD. Uh, how, how did yeah, I forget that? And gl- it looks like Glad just put it, another 300 for the tourney. Did I just read that right? Let's go, Glad. Oh, Mr. Glad. Oh, Let's go, Glad. I just I'm see good. Mr. Glad another yep. 300 for the tourney. Did that bring things up? Let me refresh real quick, guys, before Wanted we do go. Let's go, baby. I want to see it. Let me see. It's that 1990. It's a 1990. 1990. Somebody throw Sorry. seven bucks in there right now, man. <laughs> oh, for 97. 97. No, put in four. Put in eight. No, no, no. no. Put in nine, no, for 94. <laughs> no, I want to do, do four. <laughs> Let's go, dude. Yeah, let me get... Is uh, Fed, are you still streaming right now? Or is Aaron still streaming? Um, um I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I want to go I sauce they're, the they're host in over. The, uh, they're in the VC in the in this. No, server. it's that way they got off. Oh, they got off? Okay. Yeah, so um, Snazzy, if you're still streaming. Actually, uh, either Snazzy or Rem. I've never hosted Rem. Let me grab Before a Rem stream. Go, let me drag into the mod VC so we can all scream JBD. All right, sounds oh good. <laughs> so, how did I oh, even God. forget that? Yo, <laughs> yo, 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 yo. Hello, yo. hello, hello, yo. my friends. Oh, Rem isn't here. He's not streaming. Go oh, stand. man. What? I tried so hard to stop them from posting wombats, but they. I couldn't stop it hey, as long as it's as long as it's not feet, I'm not complaining. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Yeah. Someone, someone moved those back too when I linked. Them. Yeah, this worked. To no like, dogs. We had, to, we had to take them off of the old dog. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, it's Rem D two. Okay, yeah, so Rem is streaming. Yes. Yeah, yeah. he changed it. Because I remember. Yes, I I actually was it D two during my stream. This is a full see that's a fire message. There it is. Yes. <laughs> there we go, there, there he is. Following. I'm following now. Yo, I'm not even a real fan. Alright, let's get one let's go. last shout out to JBD and okay. one last love, alright? GG's. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Guys, thanks for making everything possible and Shout out! Shout out! Shout out! <laughs> Shout out! Shout out! Shout out! The JBD. JBD. Shout out to Ice Spice too. Shout out to Ice Spice. Sure, why not? And guys, make sure to go follow Reminiscent and all the other runners that are around that played so many amazing gamers. Everybody go show Reminisce some love. Make sure to throw him a follow. That man was locked. Seriously. <laughs> and yo, Mr. Glad, everybody else that donated today, thank you guys for donating to the fund. It'll only make the runners want to just keep going harder and harder, man. So thank you guys, and uh, that'll be the end of it. Yep. Anything else you want to say? Yeah, I love you guys. Yep, love you guys. Was there like a particular... um?